Hey, what's up and welcome to Movie Dumpster Season 5, Episode 11. Today we're talking about Predator 2 from 1990, directed by Stephen Hopkins. I'm Joel Escola. I'm Sean O'Rourke. <laughs> welcome to the dumpster. Oh my god, the Predator's here! Oh my goodness! Please don't kill me. He's- yeah, I, Guys, spoiler, I'm not the Predator. Oh, who's in there? Oh, it's Tony from Hack the Movies! Hi, Tony from Hack the Movies here. <laughs> so I stole this mask from my best friend in like 2004, and I've had it ever since. And I spent a lot of money on this suit, like six years ago. Yeah. I haven't gotten a lot of use out of it, so I'm wearing it for the episode. You scared me. I thought you were coming to claim my skull as a trophy. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Your spinal columns going to be ripped out. It's also it's also pretty funny because it's like one of the hottest days so far in the summer. You, you got nice yeah. air conditioner down here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty it's pretty good. But it's just funny because you know the predator comes to hunt on the hottest days or the, true. Uh, of the summer. That's uh, true. Yeah, 110 degree heat wave apparently. Yeah, real quick, real quick, real quick, Sean. Yes. Want some candy? <laughs> want some candy? Why not? Okay. Oh, I don't want that moldy <laughs> fucking predator pocket candy. I'll save it for later so that I'm not talking with like a, a you know, a mint in my mouth for the next half if hour. If you don't put a fucking candy in your mouth, we're about to talk about it. Oh, movie. God. And of course, we all know that because when you get the four Blu-ray set, they give you little <laughs> mini posters with the most memorable quotes. And of course, Predator 2 is... Want some candy? I, dude, I don't know about you, but we used to say that all the time as kids. <laughs> want some candy? Won't want some candy? I, I, I'm going to guess that they couldn't get motherfucker on there. <laughs> no, they can't. The other the one censors fuck. Shit. <laughs> what about okay. shit happens? Shit, ha that's a good one. That's a yeah, good that's one. Shit apostrophe happens. Yeah. Yeah, that should have. <laughs> the magic was, man. I don't know. I don't know who was in charge of the Predator 4 disc <laughs> Blu ray set, but you really dropped the ball on the quotes. <laughs> of the predator <laughs> you you have predator one it says get to the chopper he did not say chopper he said chopper okay <laughs> like that, we exactly all, we all gotta put, that. it's gotta be an a there's no t-e-r oh wait t-e-r that's a joke <laughs> get to the chopper <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know what i just thought of what? i thought because uh, in jurassic park when um hammond says i got a jet sending by in chateau or whatever the <laughs> fuck it, I, when i was a kid i was like oh it's a chopper that's what uh, that is get to the chopper <laughs> uh but yes predator 2 i'm gonna take these gloves yeah take off. those gloves off get out of there again hottest one of the hottest days of the summer uh, so yeah. far on this recording it's, which it's, is very apropos of the, the predator it's fine the suit is fine it breathes really well oh, it's, it's, oh, well it's the, fishnet yeah yeah it's the latex <laughs> that really really gets you <laughs> i'll be honest it's not even June as of this recording. I'm worried for this summer, and I love the summer. <laughs> Holy shit, it's 90 it, out. It's going to be hot barbecue for sure, yeah. <laughs> Humidity, I can't We're going to be like Danny Glover in this movie. We're going to be sweating like <laughs> everyone. We're going to still wear a winter coat. Damn, my, it's hot. My, my alternate uh, idea was to just wear like a nice button-up shirt and just drench, like pour a bucket on me before we started filming. Like, man, <laughs> sweat really stains, man. That's my <laughs> specialty. You see so many sweat stains in this movie. It's uh, such a good little good. detail. Bill Paxton's wearing a full suit with just like, That's what I'm full saying. sweat stains. Danny Glover's got like a winter jacket on at one point. I'm like, how are you alive? <laughs> Okay, so we're talking about Predator 2 today. Yes. I don't know about you guys, but this is my favorite Predator movie. Really? This is my favorite one. If Not you, that I don't like the first movie. If you okay. had said sequel, I would have been like, well, duh. Well, <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, favorite. I'm, I'm fine with people have said I've heard other people say that this is their favorite. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. I like the first one more, but I like this one almost as much like. That's like, kind of, that's kind of where I landed on it because I was thinking about it because it just just a little you know backstory in this. I told yeah. these guys before the recording, but I never saw this movie in completion until last night. Oh. Uh, when Are I you fucking it. serious? Yeah, I don't know. How I just, was that possible? For some How reason, we never watched it. I don't know. I know Chris Barr's probably at home wanting to kick my ass. I know he's another big fan. Oh, we're going to be talking about Chris Barr because okay. there's a, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'd always catch like the last 20 minutes and the opening on TV, but never the full movie. And I'm kind of with Tony. Like, I still like that first one more, but it's like pretty close. Yeah. Okay. I, um, I talked about this on Cinemasker years ago. We did, uh, uh, movies we changed our mind on. The movies um, that made us? It, it, oh, like, God. is there a movie that you liked and then later on you didn't like it or vice versa? Oh, and gotcha, I picked yeah. Predator 2. Because I remember, I didn't even know there was a Predator 2 for years. Really? 
because I guess so the bizarre movie, to me because the movie wasn't like uh, like the movie came out like what was it 19... 1990 yeah okay so I'm one so I don't even know what Predator <laughs> no, one I know. is yet but you, but you saw Alien before Aliens right that's true that's yeah. true uh and I had the tape for Predator and mm-hmm. I watched Predator all the time I was reading comics and whatnot whenever I could. So I didn't know that there was a Predator 2 until like pr- like browsing through Blockbuster when I was like mm. seven Holy or eight. shit, man. It must and have been I, some I, fucking voodoo magic yeah, that kept I was you like, from this I'm movie. Like, I'm like, I'm sorry, there's a Predator 2 and no one told me? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm like, what is this? And then, yeah, we rented it. And I remember like, oh, Arnold's not in it? And I'm like, oh, it's in the city. And I'm like, all right. it's They make a lot of weird choices with this one where yeah. seven or eight year old Tony didn't appreciate it. <laughs> But as they were coming back on DVD, I bought them. I was watching them and I grew to really, really, really like this one. Uh, it does so much for the Predator lore, which is now canon on, on a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, this is right before the Dark Horse comics. Like it's coming out almost like yeah. nearly. Uh, well, the Alien vs. Predator comic exists at this point. We might want to fact check it. Because a lot of people said there, there's an Easter egg in this that we'll get to. Yeah. That led to that. But I think there might have either been a game or the first comic had come out. But I might be wrong. Well, if you remember on your Alien 3 episode, go check yes. it out over on Hike the Movies. Um, in that comic book I gave you for Alien 3, at the very end, there's like a two panel Alien vs. Predator part one thing. So I think that was the precursor to the that actual might have been release. Part one in like a different. You think so? Series. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know um, I know like uh, Big Game is out and mm. like uh, Bad the Blad the the Bad Blood uh, series. Um, even uh, what is what is the one? Uh, Bloody Sands of Time, I think, is out, too. God, I got to read Predator comics. I just, fucking great. I missed out on a lot of them. Yeah. I got to like find like an omnibus of them. And go I, through I mean, them. I want to read that Batman versus Predator ones are oh, fucking those great. Are good. Those I fucking are good. got them right in there. I have the Alien versus Predator omnibus and I have a bunch of alien comics and I yeah. have I have Alien versus Predator with Batman and Superman. Okay. <laughs> that two parter. And I have it. The, the, the hardcover is misleading. It says aliens, Judge Dredd and Predator. But it's not all three of them. No. It's like it's the aliens and Judge Dredd comic, and then and the then Predator, Predator and Judge Dredd comic. Yeah, and that okay. one's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> the, the 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 Batman versus Predator. I think it ends with him like beating the Predator with a shovel or something. I gotta reread. No, <laughs> I don't he remember. has like he has like a the bat suit. Yeah, but I the, think it like boils down. Suit. He just has like a blunt object at some point. From I, what I remember, I think he has an uh, the sword, the Predator's sword. He fucking stabs oh. him with. Or it can be, or it like kills itself or yeah. something like I that. I remember being fucking awesome. I don't remember the details, yeah. but yeah. it was yeah. like, yeah. If I should have thumbed through it before I we started. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> but yeah, Predator 2, I, yeah. like I said, I've grown to really, really appreciate it. I have a great time every time I watch it. Oh, movie. it's so fucking good. I fired it up uh, last night. I watched it twice yeah. <laughs> because okay. I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I watched it last night just as leisure. And then this morning I watched it and took my notes, but la- I was like fucking hooting and hollering last night because yeah. every time you fire this up, it's like, that's a fucking banger line. Mm. This fucking scene's awesome. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's just so good. And it's one that people really need to give another, uh, big look time. At. Cause we talked about like alien three needs another look when yeah. you need to watch the assembly cut and revisit it and get over the fact that Newton Hicks are dead. This is the same thing. People need to go back and revisit this and just get over the fact that Arnold's not in it. hundred percent. Just accept it. It's been 30 something years. Yeah, yeah. And, I, that, and that was like one of the main things I saw why yeah. it didn't do well in theaters. It's like, oh, there's no Arnold. Uh, I don't want him back, to be perfectly honest. He had his thing. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. I would have been interested to see what that was. He's and, in the comics. Read the fucking comics. Yeah, him and yeah. his he's brother. In that, he's in that new video game. He came back for that for some reason. I don't know. Money. He, he wouldn't <laughs> yeah. come back as a cameo for Predator 4, well, but he'll come back as a voice role in the predator hunting ground game well I, he turned this down because uh he Terminator. took t2 yeah yeah, yeah. yeah yeah i read that yeah there's an alternate universe out there somewhere where yeah Ar- i'm where in the Ar- other part of the Arnold movie pick this and danny glover is in terminator 2. in that same universe it might even be in the mdu honestly um, we hot, have that alternate ghostbusters with uh eddie murphy and jo- yeah. john belushi hot take this movie wouldn't be as good with arnold in it i agree Maybe if he played what they were hinting at, okay. if he was Gary Busey. I don't know, dude. I love Gary Busey. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there a comic where it's like Dutch's brother is a detective? Yeah. yeah and that... he's also a muscle bound guy. Well, yeah, of they... course, obviously. And then they fight the predator again or something. Oh, my brother. Oh, yeah. I didn't I didn't... Crutch, my brother Crutch. I'm Dutch and he's Crutch. No, I forget his fucking name. In the Alien vs. Predator uh, side scrolling game, he becomes a robot in the future. Yeah, he has a robot, robot arm. arm. Maybe he's Terminator. Time to hunt. 
Talk anyway. about MDU. Holy <laughs> shit, I didn't know any of that. Yes. For me, this was on TV all the time. I talk about this on the Alien and the Aliens episode on Hack the Movies. Check it out. But we're going to go in a little bit more in depth here. Yeah. So Predator, I like better overall than Alien, than the mm. Alien series. I'm fucking way into Predator. Mm. Um, this movie was on and it would play in tandem with Aliens on TV in the 90s. Okay. So I had all the fucking Kenner, Kenner toys and uh, the comic books and the movie was always on. So mm -hmm. Predator 2 was the one that was mostly on TV that I saw all the time. So I didn't see Predator 1 until later. You know, I really. So in the 90s, I don't ever remember this on TV. However, uh, when I rediscovered my love, it was in it was in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Cinemax would play it or HBO and they would have in between. They would have Stan Winston talk about like oh, yeah. Stan Winston used to do all that stuff. They had he had like a little mini special effects show. Didn't yeah, he? he had, he had, a, do? He or, had like he had cinema secrets there on is, TMZ, yeah. but they, on cable he because he produced a bunch of movies for either Cinemax or HBO like yeah. Earth versus the Spider. Yes, and a I remember others. that. And they had toys and everything. So while promoting that, they would play movies where he did his effects on. And in mm -hmm. between, he would talk about like the effects. And that's what I learned a lot about Predator, too. And I guess that made me kind of because this is when i was all in on looking at special features and learning about stan winston yeah so that like kind of reignited like my pat like, like like my love for this movie i'm just like okay that's really cool i didn't <laughs> know about that i didn't know about that so if you flash forward right when do you so when predators came out so we hadn't had a new predator movie since predator 2 okay, was mm -hmm. that early 2000s yeah so when predators came out me and my buddy Chris Barr that we do talks from the dark side with, uh, he's also a huge fan of Predator 2. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry that you couldn't be on this episode, but uh, I we we would go and we would fucking we go get the comics and we reread all the fucking comics and we rewatched all the movies and shit just to like in preparation for mm -hmm. the for Predators. Um, we just had such a fucking good time, dude. And uh, I made Predator Blood. For that premiere, oh, I remember cool. that, and I used the Stan Winston recipe, which is just KY and, and the, the inside of yeah. a glow stick. Yeah. So you mixed it up, and I and I poured it all along the stairs, like leading into the uh, <laughs> into the theater. It was fucking cool, man. And like we were sitting down, and we were like listening to people come up, like, "Oh, look at that!" <laughs> <laughs> so movie wasn't that great, but got to revisit it. And you know where we can watch that uh, or a good review for it. Well, yes. Uh, I mean, if my fans are here, they probably just watched my Predator review. Oh, yeah. And after this, I will be on Dragon Curve with our mutual friend Clayton Fiorini talking about Predators. There you go. You yes. can learn all about it there. Yes. Yes. Find out what I have to say about that movie there. But let's focus on Predator <laughs> 2 right now. <laughs> and uh, if you want to see another video with Clayton hacking the dumpster, if you will, uh, go check out that Theodore Rex episode where we took over somebody's, uh, uh, you know, video. Oh, if you don't think there's a future where I'm going to be toneless Scola. Oh, no. <laughs> hack the move. Hack the video dungeon. I don't then, think so. And then I got to think of a Sean. One. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would love to Sean see that. Hannah. Sean Hannah. <laughs> Show Hannah, show Shauna. That'll be so. <laughs> someone's gonna Photoshop that. It might be Dino, our friend Dino. He's still asking for that uh, vampire motorcycle. It's coming. It's, uh, it's, it's happening. It's he, happening. He. What did he just do? He did like he put me as fucking Rambo. He did ten things I hate about you. Um, with, I fell out of my chair on that one. I saw that. Oh yeah. my god, I was laughing so hard. <laughs> that fucking Austin Powers one kills me. We're, oh man, Mr. Jobo. Yeah. Very shagadelic, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So yeah, this movie's directed by Stephen Hopkins. Yes. Fresh off Nightmare on Elm Street Part 5. Fuck, sure is. Yeah, yeah. The Bef Dream Child. Before the Lost in Space reboot. Oh Ugh. my God, I saw that. I was like, oh no. That, <laughs> I, uh, the fact that this was a stain on his career, yeah, right? I don't get yeah. it. That's the one that nobody's going to go back and be like, hey, you know, that's a pretty good movie. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that movie. Yeah. I mean, I've watched it more times than I'd like to admit. And, and I'm kind of a big Lost in Space fan. I don't know if I've talked about it on the show or not, but my dad it was a huge Lost in Space yeah. guy. Maybe I'll save that story for a different time. What the hell? But... Did you watch the new show? You told me it was really good, but I haven't actually checked oh, it out. Okay. I oh, watched my. the first my episode list. and my dad was like, yeah, I finished the whole first season and I was like, shit, I need to fucking catch <laughs> up and watch it. I just, they did the bloop real dirty in that movie. So. <laughs> oh yeah, the bloop, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so he also did three episodes of Tales from the Crypt because, mm -hmm. guess who's producing on this movie? Joel uh, Silver. Yeah, yeah I Joel saw Silver. that. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Well, I'll get into that. But, because uh, he uh, also, I think, produced uh, Lethal Weapon. 
If yeah, I read that, and he yeah, produced wait. the first Predator. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Did he produce the first Predator? Yes, he did, and he also that. produced Roadhouse. <laughs> so. The greatest film ever made. And actually, I saw, we were talking before this, like, they, I saw they went to Patrick Swayze for this movie. And as much as I love Patrick Swayze, I get why they didn't, because no one would ever possibly think the Predator has a chance against Patrick Swayze after watching Roadhouse. It's yeah. like, I mean, unless you do the movie from the Predator's point of view and Patrick Swayze's hunting him, there's no <laughs> way that, in which case, then it's a tragedy because, you know, the Predator's not going to win. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Like Patch Face is going to rip his throat out. I well, see gonna, Roadhouse. They're going to dance at the end. But that's the thing. They're like, going to fall in love. Even if the Predator would try to like be like, hey, I know we're, we're I'm outmatched as a fighter, but maybe I could beat you as a dancer. <laughs> and that would have been a good because obviously the Predator would still lose. So, so Joe, probably. are you trying to say that nobody puts the Predator in the corner? <laughs> no, they sure don't. OK, uh, but yes, yeah, Joel Silver produced these. And I think I saw a video years ago with Joel Silver where he has like a life size statue of the pred either the first predator or the predator from predator 2 in his office no shit that's so that's yeah. so bizarre to me i didn't even know he did the fucking first one yeah yeah um so yeah so steve does uh abracadaver um beauty rest and stared in horror and then he also fucking directs ghost in the darkness which i really enjoy that okay. movie yeah actually clayton did a video on that recently oh did he too. i really like that movie i used to watch it a lot in the 90s i think it's great um stan winston also did effects on that one yeah he decided not to go with the more accurate depiction of the lions because well, they did not have manes in real life. No, I think they were they were two females, weren't they? No, they were males, were but they? they didn't have manes. It was like, they were like there was something weird about them. I don't know. They're on display at a museum. They somewhere. are on display. Go we'll, see we'll go to that museum. <laughs> Check Hopefully, it out. it's not haunted by the relic, uh, and we'll talk about Ghost in the Dark. <laughs> oh yeah, the Mub one or Cathoga, if you will. Oh God. Um, he also directed the. He was gonna be. He was. In the middle of doing the Dark Tower series for Amazon that uh -huh. they just fucking canceled. Oh, I saw that because I saw he was accredited directing the uh, the TV movie. Is that is that the same thing? Well, they, they're calling it a TV movie, but it was the Amazon series that they were going to do. When was okay. this? 2000, two, 2020. Yeah, it was a couple of years yeah. ago. Mm -hmm. So after the movie bombed, they, they, they went... Steve they yeah, they tried to do it again that they, early. They just tried to reboot it and we're like, fuck it, we're doing a series. Nah, you gotta you gotta wait like 10 years, uh, buddy. You gotta like, like no one fucking saw that movie. Uh, Tony, are you familiar with the Spider-Man franchise? <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> There's a difference. The first Spider-Man movie made billions of dollars, and they only made more money up until the second movie. True. Uh, but yet yeah, no one even remembers there's a Dark Tower movie. Because no one saw it. You gotta let people for you gotta give some time. Joe saw it. I didn't He's a big see fan. It. I didn't see it. Fuck that movie. <laughs> the problem is like you tried to cram how many books? Eight books? Seven books into one movie? Holy shit. Oh, I love when they do that. No, <laughs> you can't do that. I, love, it, I we, love when they do that thinking it'll work. <laughs> do you remember when Ron Howard was supposed to do it and it was going to be like three movies with like series in between? That would have made more sense huh. for Dark Tower, but no. they didn't want to take the fucking gamble on it mm. for whatever reason. No. Anyway, let's just throw a bunch of money at it and then cancel it. Yes. That makes sense. Yes. Hollywood's um, way. <laughs> <laughs> so this is written by uh, Jim and John Thomas, who also wrote the first movie. Um, yeah. And they're fucking bringing the goods here. OK. Yes. You can tell they're really fleshing out the road. And he worked well with them. Whereas before the previous movie, John McTiernan, you know, he brought in Shane Black to kind of punch up their stuff. I don't uh, think you even needed it, dude. He got rid of their spaceship ending, uh, which was original, but which for budget reasons was a smart move. Well, totally, because, yeah. I, well, but you, you, you tell, already went into that on your Predator yes, video. Yes, you can tell they have more money now. Oh, big time. And they're and working time. better with the director, so they're like fleshing out the Predator stuff a little bit more. Oh, big time. And using ideas that weren't used in the previous mm -hmm. one. Well, you mentioned time specifically. I don't know if you're going to go into this at all, but I was reading uh, that, yeah, they had more time, but then uh, what was the director? Stephen Hopkins, you yeah. said? Yeah, yeah. He was brought in like literally like as he was editing part five of Nightmare and he had to literally shoot the film like each sequence. They were building the set for the next sequence at the same exact time. It was like he had like very little time to kind of go from one yeah. shot. To yeah. Say a little about Nightmare part five. The story is kind of weird and Freddy kind of sucks in it. But goddamn, the visuals are really good. It, oh, that, that motorcycle think, kill. Man. I think that's why I like it so much. Honestly, is of how Freddy is the weakest part of that movie, yeah. which is sad to say. But all his jokes fall so flat. I, it's pretty cool. Though. Whereas I, everything works in here. It's almost like yeah. we should do like, what's the worst Nightmare on Elm Street movie? At some point, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I like that idea. What the fuck were we just talking about? Sorry. In Predator 2. Have you seen no, it? No, dickhead. <laughs> uh, I, you were talking about uh, the director. Oh, the writers. Writers. Oh, the writers. writers. John yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. No, to your point, though, I love how they brought everything. And I don't think they needed Shane Black at all f for this to punch anything up. No. Because... Those jokes are still there, like with with the exception of like 
you know, the Hawkins jokes. They, they didn't like those. No. I, they didn't like those. <laughs> John McTiernan talks about that as kind of like, yeah, they weren't a fan of uh, <laughs> Shane Black's pussy Dude, She jokes. got a big pussy. Uh, <laughs> but like all the writing in here is pretty fucking good and funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Danny Glover and Bill Paxton are both kind of bringing it. And even uh, Maria Conchita Alonso. Yes, yes. yes. I have it written down because I didn't want to get it wrong. But yeah, she now, has some good lines, too. I'm glad I remember that. Now I'm forgetting the guy who plays uh, Danny. Uh, oh, I got him. It's I have it all written down, Tony. We're going to get into it once. We Ruben Blades. It. Ruben yeah. Blades. I get, we, he was I, a he was a singer. Or he is a singer. Yeah. A rock singer. Yes. He's in um he's in a few Robert Rodriguez films. He's in Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Is he really? Yeah. Well, since we're talking about it, I was gonna wait till we got to the goddamn <laughs> character. <laughs> sorry, Tony's sorry. jumping around. Sorry, sorry, he's sorry. He's in a, a great episode of X Files. Yeah. The El, Cu- El- He's but, in the El Chupacadra episode. Wait, you like Chup- that episode? I Ch- think that's a good one. Oh god, I was Chupacadra. so disappointed in that episode. <laughs> Chupacabra. Chupacabra. There, there you go. go. No, it's a hard word to say. We, you little goat sucker. Yeah. Sean, uh, Sean, I, we- I like that one. It's got a good <laughs> message. Sean, we might have to start a mini show on X Files. I've been I, I, trying I, to get that I, off I, the ground totally. for a while. I agree the message is good, but it's like X Files is doing Chupacabra cool, and it's like it's mostly about fungus. And you're like, <laughs> well, okay, mm-hmm. fine. Great is maybe over. So it's a good <laughs> episode. The ending maybe falls apart. You're right. Yeah. So Stan Winston comes back for effects on this, mm-hmm. and we got Steve Wang kicking up on that paint job, and he looks fucking gorgeous. And uh, we also have John Rosengrant and uh, Shane Mahan or Mahan doing yep. the sculpt on this. And uh, it's to me personally, I think I like this Predator better than the first Predator. Like in design wise, well, they had more time to play with the design. Whereas the last movie, that they were like, "Oh God, well, they we were, have to fix this." Yeah, they were literally wow. cobbling it on. Sc- that's why he yeah. has all his stuff. I don't know if you covered that, but uh, that's why he has all those like uh, trophies and stuff to cover up patches and shit yeah, and like yeah. the netting and stuff. Oh, we so. were making fun of it because uh, the predator is supposed to be like you know this cool hunter, yeah. and he hunts the most deadliest prey, and then he has this like tiny skulls and like, <laughs> squirrels and shit. And it's like. All right. I think I said in my episode, I'm like, I guess on Jupiter, the tiny squirrel was the most deadly prey. Well, maybe that. he bagged that when he was a little uh, Yucha. Maybe. You don't know. Maybe, maybe. I mean, you definitely see it a lot more in this movie without be- without it being, you know, camouflaged. Yeah, yeah. You see it clear as fucking crystal in this mm. one. Whereas even mm. the previous one, when it was done uh, being camouflaged, it was in the dark. They, 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 it was all quick cuts. They never really sat and lingered on it for too mm. long. Well, it's that no. classic, you know, special effects. In thing. this one, the Predator is like a character. Right, but, yeah, I, but, were, but yeah, in that first one, it's because they're trying to hide shit. Yes, it yeah. still it's a great scene. Don't get me wrong. Yes, but, yes, yes. Yeah, but then there was a whole, but that was a whole thing with the special effects too, with the fucking John Claude Van Damme thing that I'm sure yeah. you covered. And actually, with this movie, as we go through the movie, I'll talk about like I like how it, <laughs> unlike Ryan Johnson, uh, it subverts expectations in like a fun way, in a fun way, and yeah. it, and it makes sense because it really plays with you thinking it's just going to be a retread and it yeah. really pulls the rug from underneath you a couple times. Somebody yes. said to me, I don't know who it was. It was one of our friends, a mutual friend. They said, it's just the same. It's just the first movie. And I'm like, what? What the fuck are you Did they watch the about? same thing? I mean, it is. It does follow kind of the hmm. same formula. Well, yeah, because the predator comes to Earth and hunts people. Because yeah. that's what it does. But which is what they should have done with, uh, which they're doing now, which we'll talk about. Yeah. The end. But like that, you this can, this is an example where you can have a franchise that's formulaic. But and not work. be bad because it's like, all right, how would these people deal with the predator? And how would work, these people? And it can yeah. work every fucking time. Yeah. And you can also introduce new th- new aspects to the predator character within yeah. that, which we do. And I here. guess because this one underperformed, they didn't really go with that idea until much later. Oh, I wish it did, though. Imagine you know. that we could have gotten like a decade of cool pre- or maybe a decade yeah. of bad predator movies. Yeah. Because you know, apparently the writers had like six ideas mm-hmm. and this is the one that had the most potential and that's what they ran with. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. What else what could they have done? Like maybe in a desert or oh, something? Well, uh, again, to your point before, we talked about Arnold before, but they wanted to bring Arnold back and like mm. another predator like pulls the predator gauntlet out of the ashes in the in the jungle and then finds out what happened and then like goes after Dutch. I don't I like don't that. think yeah, I that's stupid. That. I don't, they don't seem like a revenge type thing. They should be like, ah, Jim died. Yep. Yeah, hell of a thing. It's not what it's about. And he died honorably. That's yeah. the whole thing. Which We're like, we'll ah, he blew about. up. I'm like, oh, cool. Did he leave any evidence? Well, I, which I pointed out in my <laughs> I pointed out in my review his his little tree area I don't know if that was included in the nuclear explosion so uh, so at some point some like South American farmer is just gonna have all this space like medical equipment and be like oh cool it'll help, it'll help him out <laughs> also, I, or he'll like die from whatever medicine <laughs> is in there I don't know if we're even gonna go into it in the actual like conversation but yeah. like there's a line towards the end uh, or maybe actually it was in a behind the scenes video where Gary Busey's like oh yeah because because in the behind the scenes Gary Busey's either method acting or or yeah, again it was his first movie 
movie after his accident. His, his, his brain is starting to work again. Yeah. It's not firing off on all cylinders. Yeah, right after that bad motorcycle yeah. accident. He says something along the lines of like, yeah, you know, we're going to have Dutch, but, uh, you know, he died a few weeks after the incident from radiation poisoning. I was like, it's actually from the theory of relativity and from the theory of quantum mechanics. Take those properties and equalize them, and you have the quantum theory of gravity, which is the discussion of how this universe started and how it will end. Why are you gonna kill the guy? I mean, Come I on. mean, I mean, if you think about it, it's just like we don't know what that explosion is, but if it is nuclear, <laughs> it's like, yeah, he probably did die from radiation and poisoning. Theoretically, he should have fucking been fried, guys. He's not. <laughs> how many city blocks does he say? Like thirteen? There's, There's like no 30, way that's just running. It's definitely like a. It's not like a full on nuke. It's like a little mini nuke. No, but, but yeah. it's it's made specifically to carry, cur, uh, cover yeah. a certain circumference, right. yeah. so that. All the shit, there could be no uh, nothing left behind. Yes. I, listen, I'm not saying it's not unrealistic in context of Predator, but... Uh, For all I, intents I, and purposes, he should be fucking dead anyway. Right, I'm just saying, like, we don't even need that wrinkle. I'm good without even knowing that. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Arnold, why the fuck would he be in L.A. at this very moment? He's they, just, pre- pre- whatever pre- he's doing. Predator 2 should have opened up. <laughs> in in um, a hospital bed dying No, 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 no. it's like you see the L.A. and then you see... You see a crashed helicopter, and it's just, it's just <laughs> like Dutch. That, Dutch has a helicopter blade through his head. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. And also, it landed in like a lake, so Anna like drowned. In oh the yeah. Helicopter. <laughs> And the pilot, of, of course. Yes, the yes. Other, and and unfortunately, there was, but, like, but a baby predator. I'll be noticed to them. There was a baby predator <laughs> on the oh ship. My God. I don't know when it got there. Yes, a dog predator. Actually, <laughs> we, we would see. It's funny because as the series goes on, there are two types of dog predators. But I was, anyway, I was going to say in some cuts, it's an ox. <laughs> yeah, in some yeah. cuts, it's an ox. The predator. ox predator. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a bad, anyway. that's a bad, I like, I get the hunting thing, but that's a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> to be like, oh yeah, we're going to bring fucking predator dogs. <laughs> no. It's why it's a bit, Joe. It's fine. It's fine. I, no, I'm just saying, in, it's because it really in, happened. No, okay, it's fine in predators when it's just an animal that they've like sure. trained, but pr- the predator, it's literally a predator. I, wait, 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 wait. That happens? <laughs> yeah, that happens. Wait, did you not see that? I no. Yeah. I saw you didn't, Predator. Oh, the, the one with Adrian Brody and Lord yeah, Larry Fishburne. That's the one where they that's have the like one. dog type creatures. But I guess the, I don't remember oh, that. Wait, wait, wait. That's Predators. Okay, the okay. Predator. They have. It's either just a dog from their home planet, or they genetically engineered a dog type monster to have their mandibles and looks, dreadlocks. It looks like it. Oh, man, yeah, maybe I just stupid. don't remember that. Anyway, it's like Angley's Hulk. Dog. Hey, Pred- I got a predator review. Dog. I got a review coming up for that at some point in the future. But <laughs> let's let's get back to this. Okay. okay. All right. So, um, Alan. So the last thing I'm just gonna say is Alan Silvestri comes back with yes. his fucking amazing score, and yes. it is so mm-hmm. awesome. I was do. Uh, I think I watched the commentary with John McT. Uh, not John McTier. I think I, <laughs> I think I watched the. Commentary. It was nice of him to come back. Yeah, for right? else's- oh my god! <laughs> I watched the uh, commentary with Stephen Hopkins, and he was like, they recorded at Skywalker Sound this giant like orchestra mm. and they were doing like drums underwater and like weird pipe shit and all oh, that stuff. Cool. It fucking rules. It's like good. It, it is like the first score on Roids. Yeah. Um it's really fucking good. Um yeah. So without further ado, the pr- Tony the Predator hack the movies. Oh, you want me to plot crunch this? Yeah, can you plot crunch this first please? Let me think. I got let me just think of this off the top of my head. Um Okay. Well you know, let me think of the Predator. It comes from a distant world to hunt people for sport. Mm-hmm. Uh, invisible and armed with a powerful weapon, unlike anything we know. It uh, it stalks its human uh, quarry mercilessly. Quarry is just a word I've been using lately. Okay. Uh, Are you just reading the back of the box? No. Leaving, Come on. leaving mangled corpses in its waist. Last time, you remember last time, it landed in the jungle. Right, right, uh, right. This time, it's chosen Los Angeles. Or as my friend calls it, the city of failure. I, I was going to say an urban jungle, but okay, continue. Uh, and you know, so let me, let me I'll, I'll go more into the plot okay. here. Okay, city so, of Angels, so, the Crow City of Angels. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so ravaged by open warfare between rival drug gangs, L.A. is the perfect killing ground for the Predator, who is drawn by heat and conflict. When the police and mutilated bodies, uh, there's like a hair that I'm staring at here. Uh, okay. Uh, bodies, for you. Lieutenant Mike Harrigan, Danny Glover. Uh, uh, yeah. thinks uh, it's the well, work it's Lieutenant Murtaugh, obviously. Yeah, it's the work of feuding gangs. The mysterious government agent, Gary Busey, uh, arrives and orders him to stay off the case. Now, you remember that part. Yeah. Uh, instead, Harrigan, remember that's Danny Glover. Yes. Uh, <laughs> sets out to learn what's really going on and comes face to face with the savage alien 
Predator, not alien. The Predator is an alien. Keep in mind. He's a fucking alien. In a climactic, electrifying uh, confrontation, co-starring Ruben Blades and featuring superb, superb special effects. Predator 2 is a suspenseful action thriller. And that's my own personal thought on like the plot of this. I think I covered it pretty well. Yeah, you didn't plagiarize that, did you? I did not. And I feel like if I... If I were making VHS box sets in 1990 instead of uh, shitting myself because I was a baby, mm. I, I probably would have put that on the back of VHS well, I, box I think so. <laughs> you know what? I think you would have got a job. Yeah, for sure. You would have been rolling in the dough at that <laughs> age. Rolling in the, what, however much paying for the back of a description of VHS box paid, I would have Free. Made. Make sure it's 200 words and get yeah. the pictures in. <laughs> so Predator, here's my actual pre- uh, plot crunch. You know, Predator... It's, you know, it's about an immigrant coming to America, trying to make his way. <laughs> Stop it. And dealing with the authorities. Not on this show, mister. <laughs> oh, my God. Am I wrong? <laughs> he's dealing I'm, with the confusing mean, really... alien. He's trying to move there. He's just, you know, having a little fun. Or it. I don't know. I'm not really sure. He's was he not far. trying to move there? He brought his whole family. Well, and they're hanging out. They were just vacationing. <laughs> they brought they a ship. <laughs> I, I have theories about that that maybe we'll get into yeah, later. Yeah. All right, so we kick up and we open up this movie on uh, the jungle. I love this. Actually, which is so good. We open up on one of the only things I don't like about this movie. The scream? Yeah, it's too low pitch for a predator. You mean high pitched? Oh, yeah, high pitched. Like, is that? Yeah! Oh, well, and when he, the logo comes in? Yeah, he does it a couple times in the movie, but it's just like, no, I've seen the previous one where he's like, Rawr. He's got a deep roar in that one. They, Tony, they're all different. I don't know if you know this. Well, the Predator only screamed high pitch in the last movie when he got caught in that net. Yeah. In the, the Wiley Coyote net situation. Yeah. Maybe that's their, maybe that's their, I thought su- that their was surprise. His, I thought that was his scared scream. I don't want to start the movie off on his scared wow. scream. No, it's a surprise scream. His, his excited scream yeah. for, I got, for the title. Yeah. I got the reverse problem with Alien Resurrection when they gave them deep roars. And it's like, well, they had high pitched roars in the previous uh, well, one. But yes, it, cu- it cuts on L.A. Yeah. Yeah, it and fades it's up. Cool. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. 1997. 1997 love, love L.A. And it's actually, I was looking up. Um, so the L.A. subway system mm. that no one I know who lives in L.A. uses, uh, it was actually being built the year that this was being made. So they're like predicting like what it was going to be like later on. Uh, but yeah, they much they, like some of the future pistols we have in this. Well, I yeah, like- <laughs> they 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 have like futuristic technology and stuff, but like kind of ground it. It's like all right, right yeah, well, yeah, maybe yeah. we might have ten this. years in the future. But yeah, when stuff. it came to the guns, they're just regular guns. It's like yeah, but what if we weld just goofy shit? To yeah, it? <laughs> but I like that because it's like that shitty future. Yeah, Hopkins oh, yeah. is like because Hopkins. It should be like it's 1997, but their vision of the future for 97 was yeah. like 2000. Do you, right. Do you but think they're wearing like fucking like gangster clothes? Yeah. Like like 40s gangster clothes with like the big giant fucking suit jackets and the big fucking oh, yeah. floppy yeah. hats. They wanted that almost noir look kind it of. It feels good. It now, works. It works. Do you think they put in the 97 because they were hoping for a Terminator crossover at some point? Um. I think I think there was a thing there with the lore where it's like they visit the planet every of these every time of this year. And like I guess that like that was the predicted time that it was supposed to be super fucking hot. I guess. I guess. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, again, there's something there's a part of this movie that has gotten lost in the later entries where these fuck, these creatures come to Earth as a rite of passage to hunt humans because we are a very dangerous or, or, or the dominant species. Yeah, at the I, time. I, don't, I never saw it as a. Right of pa- maybe in this one because of what, how the ending plays out. Well, they're also clans. Well, yeah, but in the previous one, I thought that was just a hunter. Is like I'm gonna go to Earth because she mentions it happens all the time. So I feel like that was just his hunting ground. It's like yeah, you know, every couple of years I go to Earth and I take out a couple of dudes. Well, there's a whole planet of these things. Yes, yes. I just don't think it's a rite of passage all the time. I know Alien vs Predator introduced that idea. Well, for the for the to yeah. specifically fight xenomorphs. Yes, so. and maybe it is. It's factoring the ending, but I don't think that's the specific. I think sometimes they just like to come here and hunt. Uh, I mean, okay. that's the race. That's what they do. Yeah, yeah. but I also think that it, it could be like a young blood thing. You know what I mean? I mean, it could. Yeah. It could. We don't know. I don't know. I don't know much about that predator in the first one. <laughs> Bill, I call him. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Bill Predator. How you doing? <laughs> well, well, apparently they call this one, according to Wikipedia, at least. Maybe this was in the credits and I missed it. Is the city hunter. Oh, he's the city that's, hunter, baby. That's become like a toy thing. The first okay. one's called the jungle hunter yep. and the second ah. one's called the city hunter. And we have a lost tribe at the end of this movie and they all have names that we'll get to. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. well, well, right after that logo with that terrible scream you keep complaining about yes. that I actually It's enjoyed. fucking cool, man, when it flashes in and the Predator 2 font is like yeah. uh, yeah. skewed back or perspective. But, by the way, when were the L.A. riots? 
Was this before the LA riots? Uh, might have been in the pocket. Like in real time, you mean? Yeah. This So they're shooting this in 89. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. Can you Google the I LA riots real quick? Real I just quick. want to make sure. I want to see how much of it was like inspired. I just want to make sure. Uh, Stephen Hopkins said that the Jamaican okay, the later. Mind. The right. Jamaican gangs were like uh, a big thing that were starting to come up in New York and even in uh, London at the time. Okay, so he assumed that the Jamaican gangs would make make he, their way to L.A. and well, fight just, the Colombian gangs. He just liked the idea of having the Jamaican gangs yeah. as part of it. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely pulling out their jump to conclusions, man. Yeah, they're definitely it, they're definitely factoring. And I just think this this is all Nancy Reagan's fault. The war on drugs <laughs> is leading to the Colombians and the Jamaicans fighting each other, and now they're bringing in space hunters. Just legal. I, I mean, right? <laughs> Listen, killing everybody. The, yeah. the city hunter's looking for something to do. It, it, it's it's got to get its trophies or what have you. And it just, mm-hmm. you know, I love this. We get this predator vision right off the bat here. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it just zooms in on this fucking massive gunfight. Oh, man. Explosions going off. It's the fucking Scorpio, dude. Yeah. He's ready. <laughs> A Scorpio, he's ready. <laughs> I, I can't. Our not- good friend. I can't not see him in other movies now. Whenever oh, he pops up, I'm like he's El Scorpio. He's fucking. He's in Vampires that we covered. He's in Double Dragon that we covered. He's in Lost World. Oh Jurassic God, Park. he's in Lost World. He's Jurassic fucking Park. a Bobo. I forgot he's about a Bobo, that. He's a Bobo, but there's actually two members of Scorpio in the Lost World Jurassic Park. Oh yes, uh, uh, John Rosales Jr. Tommy yeah. Thomas Rosales. Thomas, Thomas Rosales. Rosales Jr. Yeah, yeah. He is in. He's oh, another he, guy. I, I wrote down so many movies this dude's in. He, oh, he's in like th- he's in Running so Man, many. Alligator oh, yeah. Two, Universal Soldier, yeah. Tremors Two. Hulk at the very oh, end. Is. He's in uh, <laughs> the Crow. Is one of the first times I actually heard him speak English. He's like, "What about Devil's Night?" Um, but we, yeah, he's yeah, I a, guess he's always shouting something in Spanish. Well, yeah. We talked about him. I forget what episode it was, but we talked about it on something. I mean, and uh, he's the guy that gets stepped on by the T Rex. Yes. Vampires. He's oh, in that too oh, okay, with Henry yeah, Kinji. Yeah. I'm yes. pretty sure. Yes, he's in so much. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and Henry uh, Kinji was also in Lethal Weapon. We got a lot, like a lot of. We got a lot of lethal weapon oh, crossover here, yes, big time. And yes. again, everything spilling over with the Joel Silver producing thing. Mm, yeah. So, oh, we, I, I love this too because it's almost it almost has this kind of RoboCop feel with these vignettes of these mm. uh, TV uh, uh, reporters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and fucking Morton Downey Jr. is there. <laughs> this guy, Morton a trip. Downey Jr., the man who kicked my good <laughs> friend Lloyd Kaufman off of TV. <laughs> oh my god! I, what? I didn't know that he was an actual TV personality. Yes. He plays a fucking TV personality he in play, Predator, he Predator plays 2. Tony Pope? Yeah, Tony Pope. He play, he's in Predator 2. He's in Tales from the Crypt. Mm-hmm. And he's in uh, Monsters. As all the fucking... He's like a personality in all three of those. Huh. I had no idea that he had his own show. It's like when they hire wrestlers to play wrestlers. Uh, it's know, like, I, well, I, yeah. they know what they're doing. I know, but <laughs> I just... I never saw his show as a kid. Yeah. I didn't even know it was a thing. Yeah. And apparently he got, like, fucking uh, shut down because he was, like, fabricating news and shit. Like bringing people onto his show and like oh, oh my god yeah that was back when you weren't allowed to do it anyway well, uh, <laughs> where you literally got canceled from television yeah. i love though all these reporters are just like trying to do their job and just getting shot at like the one woman's like ah fuck this this yes. is like not worth it <laughs> i love the one guy who's like they fucking broke my microwave my clock radio you fucking ben Dale. he's like fucking ben Dale. Yeah. he's like i guess I, that's his uh his house or his store or whatever yeah. my, my favorite is uh the, so when the Columbians are shooting out the police uh and and they're winning yeah. after they like blow up the one car. One guy just like gets up on the car and just unzips his pants and he's the camera holding his dick. And the camera moves so you don't like see what he's doing. But it's like, man, that guy's if bullets are flying around, you know the last part of my body I want like out in the open. Yeah. This is after- like my head has to be out in the open, unfortunately. Oh, sorry. Uh, but like, at- I don't want my dick out there. This is after Henry Kinji fucking shoots the RPG at the at the oh, cop man. car and it blows up. But then we have our hero, Mr. Oh. Danny Glover himself. Oh, yes. yeah. Well, we get introduced to everybody here. True. Yes. We get, we get the we rundown. Get, yeah, we get Mike Harrigan. Uh, Danny Glover's Mike Harrigan. Uh, we got Mar- Maria Conchita Alonso as uh, Leona Contrell. Yes. And Ruben Blades as Danny Arculeta. I'm going to hold my thoughts on the MDU lore until Gary Busey makes his appearance. Yes. But I've okay. already figured it out. Okay, good. I'm excited. <laughs> But yeah, he shows up and, uh, you know, they are not having a nice day. No. <laughs> uh, I love talking like whenever I watch this movie, I'm like, I just keep like I'll just start talking like Ruben Blades. Yeah. And I don't know why every line he delivers. It's just the way he talks. It's like I'm like, I never heard anyone talk like that. <laughs> it's before. so good. We well, have not a Jerry Lambert. Nice <laughs> While there's gunfire just constantly in the background. <laughs> 
but Danny Glover is like a fucking beast in this scene. Oh, man. He just kind of like sits there, thinks about it for a second, gets into his patrol car, puts some fucking uh, body armor in the windows and just guns it towards them. He, no, he backs up. He pulls a fucking Tommy boy and breaks <laughs> the door off of the car. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. just drives into the fucking Scorpio. <laughs> well, because there's two cops that they can't save. That yeah, are getting, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. I, They're fucking dying, man. Uh, I love when he goes into the building and it's like, no, it says wait for this. And he's like, we didn't hear that. Uh, <laughs> he does that a couple times. I might have. I might have. Whenever I watch like these cop movies with like the renegade cops, like part of me is like, oh, that probably influenced Mummy Cop. Oh, I show. <laughs> Probably. M- Mummy Cop was mostly influenced by Mitchell, the Joe Tom Baker okay, movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when I was watching that, I heard him deliver that line. I'm just like, that feels like a Mummy Cop <laughs> thing. That probably seeped in my subconscious there. <laughs> so they push the Scorpio back. They go into this building, which is like their headquarters or whatever. Mm-hmm. And this their is the, armory. It's their armory. armory. Oh, okay, oh their God, armory. They have so many weapons. They got fucking <laughs> coke and bullets and guns, machine guns. They're fucking <laughs> taking hits out of the thing and, you know, putting it on oh, his chest and shit. And then you get the fucking banger from Kinji, dude. Come and get in the Scorpion is ready. Uh, again, again, Nancy Reagan. This is all your fault. <laughs> It was all your goddamn fault. I mean, if he just legalized it, we wouldn't have the proud Colombian people going to war with the Jamaicans and the police <laughs> and bringing in space aliens. Just legalize it, Nancy. God damn it. I saw Narcos. <laughs> um, but I love how Scorpio literally has a fucking like a scorpion shaped like Coke like thing that, that he puts, puts in his nose, nose yeah. like a respirator and a scorpion tattoo. Yeah. yeah, I'm. It's well, actually, no, it's 1997, so I guess he was real into Mortal Kombat. Uh, <laughs> obviously, yeah, yeah. Do, okay, when he dies, that like pops off and crawls away. <laughs> you yeah. know what? I, I, I like. I like to think that like he was just like just like a normal guy before. Like, he's, before he, became- he was selling cars, and then he saw <laughs> he went. He went in 1995. He saw New Lines Mortal Kombat. And he's like, oh, this is my whole like I Scorpion really speaks to me. I need to enter a life of crime. Well, I got news for you. After he gets fucking shot off the damn roof yeah. and falls into a picnic bench, he gets picked up by. Uh... Why was there a picnic bench there? So they can that's make a always, joke. That's always bothered me. I'm like, wait, what the fuck was the picnic <laughs> he's bench outside having lunch? Yeah, so they could get that one liner. That was it. Yeah. But, I he, do, but he gets picked up by Kokoshuko and turned into a fucking monster. Yes, obviously. And then and then everyone stares at Alyssa Milano's ass for a while. Oh, big time. Yeah. That was an experiment too yeah. by Kokoshuko. But, but before I, that, that yeah. I do love when the predator like breaks yeah. in and it just cuts the outside and the building blows up and everyone's like I would have assumed I would have assumed because like, they know that that's the armory. It's like, oh, Someone got a little too excited. Yeah. Right. Up there drop something. <laughs> Who's up there? Is your man up there? I'm surprised because, again, it is an army. I'm surprised the, the predator didn't blow himself up, like not realizing what it <laughs> was. Like, oh, shit, that's explosives. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, OK, look, yeah. I know the predator is going to kill all these guys, but how the fuck does he not get tagged? It's fucking predator. I uh, no, no. Because no, they're, they're high off their ass. It's very hot. They don't know. <laughs> like they, they, they make a point to show like um, when Harrigan's on the roof. Yeah. He catches the predator. And by the way, they they. This movie is aware that you've seen the first movie. Yeah. Oh, so they're not trying to like hide mm-hmm. it. They're like, you know, this is the invisibility cloak. Yeah. yeah first two minutes, you already know it's. There. Yeah, yeah. And I like like the predator realizes he sees him. He's like, oh, he like stops <laughs> he like stops a cartoon. And, yeah. and then like the heat wave is blurring yes. his vision. He's like, I can move. It's so good. The only problem with the Stay invisibility hot, effect in this, they do the invisibility effect more and they linger on it. But when you watch the special features, you realize when they have the red suit on to do the invisibility, there's no dreadlocks. Yeah. And you can tell and when you he totally doesn't see have dreadlocks yeah. compared well, to when he does. Besides, besides uh, so I think Alien 3 was the last one to do the film effects, like on film. But this uh, one. Photochemically, yeah. Pho- but this one does it as well. Yes. Yeah. Th- yeah. There's another element to that scene, though, besides him thinking it's just the heat wave. Yeah. You find out here he's afraid of heights. Oh, yeah. Yes. Which they, is, they established that early. Which yeah. is such a great little thing to, like, to mm-hmm. add to that character. I can relate. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why he felt the need to look over the building. I would have been like, yeah, I fuck that. I love when I'm going Danny... to go downstairs and look out a window. I'm pretty sure I know how this one ended. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love when Danny walks up and looks over and squats down and just goes, <laughs> yeah, good shit. <laughs> See ya. So then they go back downstairs to look at the bodies. Dude, and they're like all gutted. Yeah. It is a fucking massacre. Yeah. And Scorpio's chests are blown up. There's yeah. people's there's people, body parts. Some guys fucking the guys up. Up there. Although there is like a there is like a weird edit there. 
with the guy who's hung up. He's like, even you couldn't pick this guy up. And I'm yeah. like, was that a line left over from when Arnold was still in this? Because uh, I wouldn't believe Danny Glover could do it. But he made I mean, it seem well, like Danny Glover's gigantic. He is a good. And he's, 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 when he takes his shirt off, dude, he's fucking he's ripped. in great shape yeah. and everything. But he's not like Arnold. Well, well sure. Yeah. But he also said in interviews that this was like, you know, not that that really has anything to do with the movie. But he said this was probably like the best shape he was in in his life. Yeah. And he was you in couldn't 40s. carry him up there. Yeah. <laughs> but as they're talking, they show this guy up here. So they're making a note that there is a person there. Yeah. Uh, but as they're leaving the room, the guy is then covered in more blood. And it's like, yeah, it, it cuts. It's yeah. his naked butt. And then it cuts. <laughs> he's drenched in blood and gets pulled up. And it's like, did no one ever think like we never get a scene where they're like, hey, you said there was a guy hung up. I, I didn't see him. Yeah. I think there's two different ones because there is a skin body there to hang in. As no, well. it's the same yeah. shot. It's the same shot done a little bit later. Really? But they drench him more in blood and then yank him up. Miss that one. We don't get the skin bodies till the second attack scene. Yeah. Because uh, I think the implication there is because they busted in the Predator and have time to do that. Yeah. He's going to hey, do it later. What does he? I asked this in my Predator review. Okay. What does he do with the skins? He eats it. Fries it up like, you know, I have chicken skin. <laughs> Wait, that, no, I thought he takes it as like a trophy and I don't understand that. But like, we never see what they actually do with the skin. I don't really know why he takes the skins. I, well, I did read that people have have talked about this and I maybe this was in Predator 1. I just haven't watched it in a couple of years. But it's almost like when he skins people, it's almost like because he feels like they're cowards and they, they weren't worth like being the trophy t- taking the skull and spine yeah. so it's almost like a humiliation thing well i thought culture. it was is it is it like a ritual from some other culture that's maybe is that like a jamaican thing maybe, maybe. i mean I, flaying I, people that was a thing flaying, that they did in yeah. medieval times well, i mean yeah, i sure. assume he's taking the skin to make like you know like fabric and well, like, it, like right, how yeah. how humans take skin but they in the movies they just never shown us what they do with the skin no so i'm just like what is he doing with it we never see the skin after he skins it he's, I'm like, fo- he's folding it up and he's selling it to buffalo bob that's oh. fine i just wanted one shot of him just folding the skin <laughs> and putting him in a pouch and i'm like okay he's saving it for later he's gonna make it's gonna make a lovely quilt he out puts of it. it on a fucking hanger and puts oh, it in yeah. the closet. him and leatherface are hanging out oh, together yeah, you know sewing stuff <laughs> there you go that's who he's doing it for he's getting he's yeah. handing it to his buddy leatherface he's, he's his teacher he taught him all, everything he knows uh but, but then we go to this police station well, which is like well he, we come outside and and mike is okay. uh, uh accosted by uh captain philip who's one not, of one of the johnsons from Die Hard? Well, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's he's, also, no relation. he's also one of these really disgusting people. Maybe you heard of him, the Fratellis? Yes, I've heard uh, of him. Yeah, <laughs> I heard of him, all right. It's oh, Mama Fratelli just made an appearance. Oh, Christ. <laughs> if you heard that body melt episode, she's got a third hand shoved down her pants, and she's going furiously on that vagina. Oh my god. She's a panty predator. I mean, we haven't had a chance to bring her up in a while, and I had to just take the opportunity, guys. <laughs> so Robert Dobby's there, and he's like, uh, he's like, Yeah, you can't be fucking doing this. This guy Key's over here, it's his show, the feds are coming in, and it's their th- it's their mm-hmm. thing. You shouldn't have did that. Now go back to your cage in El Dorado. <laughs> <laughs> but then but yeah, but then they go to the police station, and then he has another higher up. Who actually works at the police station? Yeah, uh, Ca- yeah. Captain Brent. Captain Brent, who a- I feel like disappears at some point. Ken, yes. Ken McCord, uh, aka yeah. John Crichton's father from Farscape. Yeah, aka the guy from the uh, Monsters episode called Rain Dance, oh, which we will get to. Yeah. So I, I I do like that Peter Keys comes in. Yeah, and he's trying to be nice. <laughs> He's like, hey. Ah, uh, Detective uh, Harrigan, how are you? Right. Step well, on this toes. is Gary Busey, let's clarify. Uh, I, yes. I don't want to step on anyone's toes. I uh, hope you appreciate us here. Uh, we'll, we'll work together. And right away, they're just like, I don't like these fucking feds. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I can see if he came in, and like like in Die Hard, yeah. where he's like, not anymore, you're not. Instead, he's like, hopefully we work together Well, make this work. And he's just like, fuck you. Well, because yeah. Mike already knows some some other shit's going down. Like, it's not yeah. it, it, it's not like a by the books thing. Yeah. There's obviously something bigger at hand, but he's not telling him what it is. I, mm. I also like Gary. You B- don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, I love Gary Busey's like powder blue suit he comes in with on <laughs> too, and his hair like slicked back trying to look And cool. he's there. Have they introduced Adam Baldwin yet? Yeah, uh, he may come with him. No, if not, he's a no, little no. later. Well, well, he's there. They didn't introduce him. He's inside. He was outside the helicopter. That okay, we okay, okay, yeah. Adam Baldwin is yeah. like his second in command. What else is he from? Independence Day. Firefly. Okay. He looks like somebody else, and I'm not. He looks like fucking Agent Smith oh, uh, and the was, guy from Ghost. He was combined. also in Full Metal Jacket. Oh. He's in a lot of movies. He, Hugo Weaving. I think he was partly responsible for the Gamergate movement, but that's a story. Uh, that's, not, that's not a maybe because it's on his Wikipedia page. Oh, that's right. He's very proud of it, too. Uh, <laughs> yes. So we're in the precinct and I love they, they're taking in fucking Bebop, dude. 
<laughs> the guy oh, with the fucking right. mohawk guy, and the glasses. This place I is like, packed. They have so many criminals being arrested. I know. Well, oh, it's just, LA. It's, a, it's <laughs> we're doing some Teenage Mutant Turtles crossover, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so that, LA was real shitty at the time, and as we found out from real life, it would get even more intense. There's so they're just predicting it's getting worse. Yeah, there's true. hookers. There's there's drug dealers. There's petty theft. Every some guy, some lady calls in to fix her fucking plumbing. He's like, hey, this is a police station, not a plumbing agent. Now so, LA is just sad. Uh, have you been to LA recently? I have never, never been, been to LA. Oh, God. Oh, God. Downtown LA. Oof. Sad. No good? Is the Scorpio still running shit? <laughs> no. King no. Willie is there? No, it's just really sad uh, drug addicts. No. Some with holes in their face. I saw oh, that. God. Jesus And I'm Christ. like, oh, man. Because uh, in LA, you're allowed to just camp anywhere. Okay. <laughs> so there's just tents all over LA. Uh, Tent yeah. city it's becoming. Yeah. So that's one thing Blade Runner predicted that they got right was all the trash. Like, like there's just trash and garbage all over downtown LA. That's why you got to have a flying car to get above it, right? <laughs> yes, LA, yes, exactly. Right, right. <laughs> um, so before we move on, let me just get my MDU shit out of the okay, way. Okay, go for okay. it. Because I said when Gary Busey shows up, I talk about it. Okay, go. Even though, Tony, you can call me on this. It came out after it. This takes place before Lethal Weapon. Okay. okay. In the MDU. In the right, MDU. Right. So I'm it's gonna definitely have to... after Silver Bullet for sure. He gets his yes. shit together. He's not a drunk anymore. Right. He was already he already played on the rookie of the year team. He was <laughs> right. playing for the Cubs already. Uh, his good half of his life is over. Yes. Uh because, you know, without getting into because we're gonna talk about it. When this movie ends, some stuff happens to Gary Busey. Uh I'm gonna say he actually survives that somehow. I don't know how. We'll get to it. Well, oh. I, I I have a lot of questions about that death. But sure, I'm sure. He stitched him together anyway. But you know, Danny Glover, he's just he just fought a fucking predator. Again, we're gonna talk about it. Uh and it, you know, he's just like, wow, this is just too much. I gotta move to a different city, moves the family, changes the name. Yeah. Now he's now he's Murtaugh. <laughs> Even though this movie was made after the other one, he actually looks older in Lethal Weapon, but that's nor here nor there. And then Lethal Weapon happens, and Gary Busey is back, but now he's working for the bad guy. But, you know, Martok, he doesn't really want to bring that up because it's just like, he, he thought that guy was dead. He just thinks it's like one of those like weird like doppelganger things. But no, it's really Gary Busey from this movie. I got a darker one for you. Okay. So he ends up getting better from the, the in injury at the end of this film. Right, yeah. But he's in an accident, another accident. And he finally goes crazy. And then he goes into a house that's being built and builds a little alcove in the attic and becomes hider in the house. Okay. <laughs> Is, well, that could actually lead to him working for the bad guy in Lethal Could Weapon. be. Could be. There's a lot of Gary Busey <laughs> lore left on I'm the table. Try, I'm trying to work in a ginger dead man, and I, I just can't. I'm <laughs> no, sorry. that's the last one. That's when he finally gets killed, finally, <laughs> when by he Danny finally, Glover for real this yeah, time in Lethal finally, Weapon. When he finally dies, or maybe that's that could be it. It's an alternate split timeline where he dies in Predator 2, Charles Band collects his fucking corpse and turns him into a fucking gingerbread <laughs> oh, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a lot of split timelines in the MDU. They don't always connect in ways that actually are satisfying, but hey, it's... It's the MDU. No. Movie Dumpster Universe for anyone that doesn't know what that means. <laughs> Sean, you're probably cutting off a lot of people's dicks and shoving them up their ass. I mean, hey, why not? I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> so, one of the best fucking lines, dude. <laughs> from from, uh, from uh, Danny Glover. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so back, back to the actual plot of the back movie. Back to the please. actual plot of the so Oh, you Bill, want me to plot crunch again? No. Uh, it <laughs> comes from a distant... <laughs> Son Sorry. of a bitch. So, so Bill Paxton comes in as yeah. Jerry Lambert, the Lone Ranger. Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> literally guy. everything is his specialty, which I love, I love it so much. It's my specialty. He's, he's such a fucking pompous asshole. He's telling jokes to fucking... Uh, Leona. Leona. Yeah. I love how she just punches him right in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... You got your last partner killed? Yeah. They're not happy and about that. he's like, that. what? <laughs> Trying to fucking cowboy shit with me and you can kiss <laughs> this goodbye. This one's even more quotable than the first one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, he gives them the speech. He's like, door swings both ways. <laughs> yes. Blah, blah, Which blah. I think is really cool because yeah. they're like building a team uh, mm -hmm. together on the police force. He's like, he's like, kid, why'd you get transferred down here? It's a fucking war zone. He's like, yeah. I've requested. He's like, yeah, that scares the shit out of me. This yeah. place sucks. Got no room <laughs> get for, out of here. <laughs> for, uh, for hot shots or showboats, rather. Yeah. I like uh, this, though, because there's a good callback to it later. About the, the speech. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That they, yeah. Um, that it's a team. Don't go off on your, don't be that lone wolf. It, yeah. yeah. When Danny Glover first sees him, he's like, he's like, that's the lone ranger? I thought he was here to fix the air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking good line, too. Uh, yeah. It's like, well, Danny, maybe stop, wearing, maybe stop wearing fucking thick suit jackets. <laughs> In the 110 degree heat wave. <laughs> it's my specialty. 
<laughs> They're all wearing really thick suit jackets. Like, God damn it, guys. So here we are finally. We've hit the we've hit this catharsis because we've mentioned this on the fucking show how many goddamn times it's a running joke through our Blackula episode, Black Scream Black the Scream. Mm. And many times before that. And many times before that. So we get to one of the head, I think he's like the head of the Colombian cartel. Yeah, yeah. In mm. LA. Getting his dick wet hard. Oh, oh, dude, oh my god, nice, this woman. They do those nice jump cut zooms. Dude, <laughs> dude. Peter Levy's cinematography in this movie is fucking awesome. Yeah, that didn't look composited at all. It no, looks like he like, really was just like, on a building and right. told a girl to have sex. It's like, he's like, all right, let them fuck and we'll fly in with the helicopter that we got. <laughs> um, I didn't write her name down, but she was a playmate in, in Playboy. I think she becomes like a porn star or something. Well, they, they leave the shot on her. That's what her Stephen Hopkins like, said anyway. Wait, she became a porn star? That's what Stephen Hopkins said. I didn't said. have to frame by frame on my VHS tape in like 2002. I could have just looked up one of her movies. I mean, what frame by now I know. Tony, oh, they leave the goddamn go. camera on her for like a solid three minutes. You can see everything. I mean, well, yeah, but yeah. then she stands up and you can see like all of it, but there's too much smoke. So you have to frame by frame. <laughs> but if I had known, I could have just... before or after the Jamaicans come in. It was after the Jamaicans oh, come oh, in. Oh, yeah, she's yeah, running yeah. away. Uh, but now I got to look up her uh, filmography. Uh, <laughs> You're like Rudy Real on our Killer Clowns episode. Excited about the fucking nipples on the chicken and the pizza. <laughs> I can see them. <laughs> can hardly see them nipples. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, on that Blu-ray copy, that bush is loud and clear. I actually, oh, okay. I, oh, dude, yeah, it's screaming. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's it's a it's a jungle. <laughs> no, no, no. See, last time he landed in the jungle. <laughs> oh, no, this he's time not in the jungle. Well, well you could say it's the urban jungle. <laughs> yes, it is. The cu- well, no. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so the Jamaicans kick down the fucking door. They're like yeah. shooting people in yeah. the fucking head. I love the leader of this. Uh, band, by the way, he's yeah. wearing like fucking gold pants. Yeah, he's got gold guns. He's like, got gold. gold they're, they're, yeah. What was it called? Peacocking. They're peacocking hard. Oh, yeah. they, they have all the accessories. They do. <laughs> they hang this Colombian guy up by his fucking feet, and he's like, yeah. "Hey, man, I'll give you whatever you I'll want, give you man. Man. right now." This isn't about money. It's about, it's about power. power. Yeah. I love how even they don't really believe in the voodoo shit. They just have to do it because Willie wants them to do it. <laughs> Fucking voodoo <laughs> magic man. Fucking voodoo magic man. <laughs> I mean, granted, they are dressed like what you would expect to be like parts of a, a voodoo gang. Yeah. You want to call it that with the hat and, and everything. I'll tell you what. The skull. But like, not every henchman is into what their crazy leader is making them do. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, 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 when you read a Batman comic, you know, those Joker henchmen are wearing clown masks. You, you tell they're just like, I just got this fucking part They're wearing the feathers and fringe and all kinds of shit but yeah. I'm totally or, or Two-Face's gang from Batman Forever with those uh, the, those pink and the black s- split down the middle yeah. ski mask yeah. yeah they're just like hey man get a ski mask like no you gotta get two ski, ma- ski masks and so it's, it's his thing it's his like, thing he's, you gotta you gotta dock you the pay man just do it just fucking yeah. so that these, why they, that's why they smoke all the guns right yeah, yeah. so these guys are just like look Willie hired us we just want to smoke some weed but we gotta believe this voodoo shit so we here comes a knife into your chest <laughs> oh my god that's great so are we gonna shoot this guy like no fucking Willie man he wants us to cut his like body at like his <laughs> intestines Rip his why do we have out. to do that that's fucking willy man just do it shut him up <laughs> we gotta take his soul yeah right? yeah, yeah. yeah we gotta take his soul oh man so i'll tell you what i believe though shit happens <laughs> shit because happens. the fucking predator comes in and starts well this is weird because like he's all cloaked except for his net gun I think I of that in the first one. I too, talked with about the that in the previous cool. one. So that's a conscious choice. You might miss it, right? So it's like it's such a quick shot. So because, maybe that's why they do because it. he 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 can be cloaked with the blades, mm-hmm. but that's a conscious choice where he's like, I want them to see my knife. And in this one, he's just like, I'm gonna kill these guys, but I want them to see. I my mean, spear. again, he's he's the predator. He's he's taunting these these the prey a lot of times yeah. in oh, this film. Time. So you're right, Tony. Yeah. He wants them to see. Hey, I'm gonna fucking kill you with this thing. Yeah. Yes. He does it to Billy. It, well, granted, he gets Billy from behind, but yeah, yeah that's where you see. And it he first. um he's using new weapons. We oh. get the net gun, but we don't get a good payoff for it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think this kill with the net's pretty good. Well, here's I, the thing. Here's the thing. It's cool. Yeah. But I wanted to see him sliced up. Oh, like sector or something. Yeah, like and in then, pieces, sure. And then in Alien versus Predator, they do the neck gun to the guy who got cut up into cubes from Resident Evil. And in that movie, I'm like, oh, I'm finally going to get the payoff. And then it was PG-13. Oops. So I still haven't gotten you a ugly successful. ugly son of a bitch. I still haven't gotten a successful neck gun kill, except for in the game Alien vs. Predator 2 for the PC. Well, you can use the neck gun. And it just shatters. Well, you can do well, it in uh, Mortal Kombat 10. 
Or that's le- true. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. true. <laughs> My favorite thing in the Alien vs. Predator 2 PC game is you get to use the disc. Yeah. And you could call it back. And I remember a guy, I threw the disc, it missed, and a guy was running after me, and I called it back, and I cut his head off. Oh, on the that's way so back. fucking good, man. The disc is cool when we get yeah. to so, it. Yeah, so we get the net gun, we got the combi stick, we got the smart mm-hmm. disc, we got this yeah. fucking spear that he shoots out. Which yeah, yeah, he's got the spear. I'm not sure where that comes out of or what gun that comes out of if it's the same gun as the net gun no not entirely sure i, I think it's really just so that danny can come looking for it later in the yeah. film <laughs> by the way he's got like a multi-purpose yeah that gun has like a multi by the way i like a guy gets shot in the head from the side and then the other as soon as he falls down the henchmen are like huh and then they shoot in a completely different direction it's like what well, they can't see him yeah but if uh, if a shot comes from here like, if someone were to shoot mm. Sean right now, hopefully not. <laughs> Don't say that. And, and, like, Sean got shot and fell down. I wouldn't be like, oh, no. And then look that way. Oh, like, I'd be like, oh, yeah. it probably came from over there. This is true. This is true. <laughs> and this is, like, something, like, that this movie, I think, does better than the first one. Because the first one, you don't ever really get a scene where the Predator's actively going after multiple targets at once. Like, yeah. Obviously, that's had, true. There yeah, are you... scenes where they're together trying to fight it, but never, nothing ever happens. Like the famous like machine gun scene when they're blowing the, the jungle up with everything. Mm, sure. But it's like, yeah, it is just going in on people. So you get a lot of shots of it in the camo uh, uh, or at, whatever you want to call it. The, uh, is it camo? Camouflage. Yeah. Camouflage. Yeah, Bending camo. light. Yeah. 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 So it's like, you know, jumping off of fucking like uh, pillars and yeah. like coming at people from behind. And it's just, it looks really cool. Man, when and you see and him, cutting to yeah. predator vision. When you well, see him from behind and fucking get that guy right through the chest with yeah. the blades. That's fucking Well, that's sick. another one. Okay. Yeah. That's another one. The guy's got the blades and he's up in the air. But he's cloaked behind. And him. then the henchman <laughs> sees it and he's like, oh, I got to shoot in that direction. It's like, nope. Yeah. It's fucking... Fuck Again, them. if you were to come up in if the air with blades out of you. I was talking to my wife, <laughs> and these motherfuckers are smoking too much goddamn reefer. That's what it is. They're fucking like those mean, fat boys, and they're just like, what? I'm going to be, I'll argue that you could never smoke enough reefer. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to, I think your senses are going to be dulled. And I'm glad you said that, Sean, because this was actually an intervention. We I, need to yes. talk. Uh, I watched this documentary called Reefer Madness. I think it will teach you a lot. <laughs> okay, I won't go into my whole uh, sativa and indica and why they are different, but okay. It depends on what they're smoking, Joe. That's all I'm trying to say That's here. That's fine. Or if it's laced with something. I mean, you don't know. Exactly. Either way, they're all fucking dead. Yeah, well, this is true. And so, uh, so everybody gets uh, fucking slaughtered. Sean, what, what gang would you have joined if you were in this movie? If I had <laughs> gun, like actual dude. gun to my head, if I had to pick? Yeah. I, would clear, I mean, I, I don't know if I would be welcomed in, but it would absolutely be the voodoo boys. <laughs> yeah, I think, you <laughs> Could know, you imagine I Sean think the, in that fucking pimp mobile smoking yeah. reefer with these guys? Yeah, because the voodoo guys, they're just they're just pretty chill smoking weed unless Willie makes them do weird shit. Sure. The, the Columbia guys, they're on coke. They're living oh, in armor. They're going nuts. I, yeah. I feel like I might like in my head. I feel like I might get along better with the Columbians. But if they are more into cocaine, then I would just say, ah, I, I love the party with you. But these guys know like. In my version and, of party, yeah. I don't the know. Car, does that make sense? The cars we saw the Colombians drive in the beginning look kind of shitty. Yeah, the Jamaicans have that nice zebra print nice. and the, the, the decked that, out yeah. interior. Yeah, you know what? I'm going Jamaican. Bi- I'm oh, going Jamaican. oh, big time! Once you go with Jamaican, you never. We're go going back. with King Willie. Yeah, yeah. King yeah. Willie. If you're recruiting, <laughs> um, I'll up. cut anyone up. I don't care. <laughs> as long as I can have another cane with the snake head on it. <laughs> nice. Give me a few of those. Cannons you're smoking later in the film. Sean is in the back of that fucking car, hot boxing with a bag of Doritos, dude. dude. I do, I a bag. I, I, I better a, have several. I have a cane with a steak head for my Jafar costume. Dude, really? Oh man, it. I got the Diddler oh. cane. God, <laughs> there we go. The Diddler's joining the Voodoo Boys. You, you really never see the eyes of the demon until he comes <laughs> calling. Yeah. So anyway, where are we? Oh yeah, the predator says, kills everyone. So he kills everybody, and then uh, you know, don't worry, PR is my specialty because they show up, <laughs> Harrigan and uh, and. Uh, um, the gang. Jerry, Jerry, yeah. and everybody show up. Danny Boy and, and Leona. We get we get that joke again where le, that Tony mentioned earlier, where they're like, "Oh yeah, they said don't go in the uh, you know Gary Busey's coming." He's like, "I didn't hear that." Yeah, <laughs> Tony Pope comes. He's like, "He's like, what's going on oh, in there?" Harrigan, <laughs> Harrigan, the public has a right to know. And then I agree. I got uh, I, I, my my love for the first amendment came from this movie. Oh, yeah, Tony Pope go. really got me. Yeah, big time. <laughs> Hardcore. <laughs> oh, by the way, just side note on the. On, I don't know if the Blu-ray has all these feature, special features, but my my old DVD is fucking packed, oh, yeah. full of shit. They have, yeah, they have the the, 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 t- the all of the segments for hardcore are just there, like isolated. <laughs> That's cool. They're awesome. <laughs> Uh, I do. Maybe we'll post a view. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, I do love how uh, Danny Glover and his crew go in, and they're real careful. But they see 
the the bodies hanging. They see the one cartel guy, obviously, yeah. who was killed beforehand. Why is it just Go naked? Ahead. And then all the other ones are skinned. Why is everybody else getting to live his boss Ramon hanging ten and his girlfriend naked on the floor? <laughs> well, and she keeps saying like El Diablo, something, yeah. something. Well, she said that, yeah, the the devil came for them. Right, mm. right. Yeah, I don't know why the predator left the the guy he didn't kill up. Because that's yeah, uh, dishonorable. That, that, no, but that throws off your... He's trying to display his cool ones. Yeah. He's got some other guys work, and it's like, well, I would have cut him down and like threw him to the side. Like, I had nothing to do with that one. Let me show you the cool ones I did. <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> also, I don't think any of these... Get, he doesn't take trophies from any of these guys. He just skins them that's all. That's what I'm saying. Well, he I, takes I, their skin. I guess yeah. that's their trophies. I, huh. I mean, again, I didn't do heavy research on this, but that seemed to be made sense to me that it's like ah they're cowards they didn't fight me hand to hand they're shooting at me they're 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 lo- i'm just gonna skin them i mean them. i would have just had his like had a seam where he's just chilling in a robe made out of skin maybe <laughs> maybe he has to skin a certain amount of people before he can take a trophy i mean is he knitting is a... it is it like concrete jungle right you have to like you know your skinning bar has to go up before you can <laughs> take a trophy is he maybe. knitting a blanket with these skins if we're gonna go back off what we were saying earlier yeah. mm. Possibly. We know he's not eating them. No. We find out that he's not eating them. That's the thing. Well, right, yeah. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, I mean, I, I like that crispy chicken uh, joke from earlier I was trying to push. But yeah, so so Busey comes in with the fucking lights. Well, well real quick, I like sure. how, how here, like, again, you could just make this some stupid thing where it's like, oh, the Predator was here. Well, let's go try to find him. Oh, yeah. It's this whole thing where, like, there are two gangs at war. And there is war happening in the middle of the streets and the cops are caught in the middle and they're deducing like who could have done this. Right. Obviously, those dead motherfuckers are Jamaicans. He's a Colombian. Wh- who did this? Who is there a new person on the street? Yeah, that's a, you know what I a mean? new player in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. And then sorry. Yeah. Then Busey comes in and he's flipping out. But I think it's hilarious that as, as much as Gary Busey is like, yeah, you guys, you know, you're, you're ruining the crime scene. He's the asshole that lets Tony Pope in because he's not paying attention. Oh, yeah. And Tony Pope is sneaking around with a giant (laughs) fucking... Where's his cameraman? He's there with a giant camera with a big light on it. (laughs) He's got the beta cam and he's fucking going around. (laughs) And he gets like the best shot of the fucking bodies hanging. Yeah. Yeah. Five assorted scum in oh, yeah. one cut. <laughs> Sorry, that's, 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 later. That's skipping a little right. later. Uh, I, but there who, is one who, other thing. Who that, are you, Keys? Yeah, the is, last oh, person who you want to fuck with. Exactly. But there, another thing that's important uh, is Danny and, and Danny, Danny and Danny. Uh, see this like the, the spear tip like up by like an air vent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they kind of go over to each other and I'm like, yeah, we'll come back at one o'clock. Which is crazy. Don't be a hero. Which is crazy like how they were able to get back in after it's already secured by Keys. How mm. the fuck did Keys miss that? Oh, yeah. You know? He his, well, he has his own prerogative which with that said, you would think he would have been fine something like that. He probably was just so focused on the bodies he didn't even mm. think. Yeah. What about the net? Did the president yeah. grab the net? I guess he did because he must have hung the body Probably. up so he grabbed the net. Um, I would have just loved it. They found just meat cubes. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> what happened? That was a person. Oh, man. He's got some jerk chicken on the floor there. Um, there you go. Fire up the grill, Predator. <laughs> Give him the chef's hat. Apparently he has a taste for beef, Sean. <laughs> oh. um, so, so yeah. So uh, Mike has uh, Jerry do surveillance on keys. Mm. And don't worry because... Surveillance is his specialty. Yes, it's, everything is. <laughs> um, so so they go out, and then we have the scene. Do, does Danny die first, or we go to the bar first? They go to a bar, and while yeah. that's yeah. happening, then Danny does what he does. Yeah. So we get just real quick on the bar. It's pretty cool because Bill Paxson is proving himself as a competent cop and not just yeah. some fucking and jackass. What's his, uh, Maria Kachita is coming around on him. Oh too. yeah, which is kind of funny. No. I love Bill Paxson in this scene because well, they figure out that they're going to the slaughterhouse or whatever because he's tailing keys. And uh, he's like, excuse me, excuse me, uh, Sarge, I got to go do some shit. And he goes over to this chick and he's like, hey, he's like, hey, man, you mind? That's my sister. <laughs> and he's like, oh, he's like wait a minute. You're not, you're, you're not my sister. <laughs> I should use that. I should use that. That's line. a good one. I'm going to go to a bar and use that line. That's my sister. Oh, um, you're not my sister. It, it's fucking rapid fire, dude. Because yeah, yeah. because uh, Leona sees him and she's like, hey, how's your balls? He's like, fine. <laughs> How are yours? <laughs> <laughs> There's good, like, there's good character building between all of this yeah. group of characters. Yeah, but I, I, I specifically mentioned in that scene previously that Danny Glover says to uh, Danny, whatever the fuck. Uh, Danny yeah, boy. Yeah, Danny boy, obviously, even though he's very clearly a, a Latino man. Uh, <laughs> it's anyway. Not li- it's not limited to the Irish okay, folk. Okay, fine. I'll give it to you. Danny boy. 
Danny uh, boy, the pipes are cold. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, yeah, don't be a hero. But then this guy goes in by himself, breaks in, and mm. is like being real careful not to disturb the scene. You think the you think other members of the club and gang would be holed up there? Yeah, and right. Like, oh, wait, how some about, guy took out our boss? How about the cops? Yeah, well, at least one of them, right? I guess he is the cop. Well, well, yeah, well yeah, yeah, he is the cops, but like he also doesn't really like try to like go, be sneaky about getting. He literally comes in with his siren blaring. Yeah, yeah, but then he like opens the door with like his little gun thing yeah and he goes he climbs all the way up there and he grabs it and the predator is still there it's just is hanging out i guess cleaning cleaning up the town or some shit cleaning up shop well, i just finished you know growing up those meat cubes <laughs> yes <laughs> he just gathered all the skins yeah. oh that's what he was doing he's folding them neatly up in the rafters <laughs> exactly exactly yeah it is kind of it's weird writing that the predator would still be there well I he guess. comes it's clear that he comes back and we've already established that in the other no. scene but uh, but yeah, Danny gets it fucking bad, dude, because mm. Danny's just up there and the predator scares the shit out of him. And mm. I love this scene because he he's falling and he goes to grab something. Yeah, that's cool. And the arm is all invisible and then turns uh, back and then he fucking lets go. Yeah. And then the predator grabs him by the foot mm. and pulls him up. And if Danny had just not pulled his gun, he would have been, been fine. Sa- he would have been safe. Yeah. Instead, he gets fucking murdered. Uh, yeah. They, I like how they go into that. Like as they're fi- Danny Glover's figuring that out as the movie goes on. Yeah. yeah. Also, Predator, whenever you see him in the Predator vision, he knows very well that Danny is like oh, Mike's yeah. partner, mm-hmm. you know? Oh, yeah, he's he's stalking Danny. He's yeah. like, this guy, I think this guy might be. Our guy. I know I'm taking out these other guys, but there's something about this guy. Well, because yeah. even when he first comes in to. to Kill the cartel members or the Colombians, rather. Excuse me, Danny Boy, yes. not oh, Danny Glover. Right, right. Well, thank God he's out of the movie soon, so we we'll don't have to get confused for the rest of this review. Well, uh, but he, he, the predator, is even like focusing on Danny Glover when he first shows up, kind of taking charge of that scene, mm. and then you know the rest of the movie happens. So he's yeah. the predator's obviously got its eye on uh, Harrigan, yeah. yeah, which is fucking cool. So we come back to the precinct, and Robert Davi is like basically telling him again. He's like, he's like, you know, uh. I, the, the highest captain or whatever was like, you know, he, you know, he said you should be fired and the, and Danny's death should be blamed on you and all this shit, which is so fucked up. And mm. he's like, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You're just going to stay out of it. All right. <laughs> You're going to leave keys alone and just fucking knock it off. Yeah. He leaves this fucking place and he sees Gary Busey and he runs down. He's <laughs> he knocking people out of the him. way. Fucking picks him up, throws him against the thing. He's like, he's like motherfucker, who are you keys? Yeah. yeah. He's like, He's like, you killed you killed Danny. Now it's fucking personal. And he's like, yeah. you don't know what you're dealing with. You still don't know what you're dealing with. Oh, Everybody we... stops and like watches this altercation. Yeah. Did he already do the 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 test for the thing? Or that's coming up. That's coming up. That's, that's coming the up. next yeah, scene. That's, sorry, that's the sorry. next scene. Yeah. But like the Danny Glover slap here is one of my favorite things <gasps> that like I would do. Do you remember that? I do the do you, do you remember that? Like I used to do that. I get the fucking Danny Glover <laughs> slap. I love that when you just totally fucking owns the bunny. Fucking there you go. <laughs> that was great. Marches off. Yeah, but then consider yeah, it done. It's go- revenge now. <laughs> so so he leaves Gary Busey just fucking shocked on the side of the the wall or whatever. And uh, Leona and uh, uh, Jerry are there. And he's like, he's like, they're like, oh, you can't fucking do this. Like, you want to go out and we're, we all love Danny and we can't, you know, uh, we can't just go out and kill this guy. And it's like, look, if we're going to do this, we're going to do it as a team. So right. then the so, speech callback. Right. The speech callback, which is cool. The door mm-hmm. swings both ways, guys. Yeah. So they set up a plan to tail Keys again and figure out because Keys knows something that he's not letting on. Well, there's the, he also in this scene before we, uh, we we move on to like the lab. Yeah. Before we move uh, on to the uh, lab, Dan- there's like a scene outside. Well, Danny Glover says to Leon, he's like. Get me a get me a meeting with uh, King w- Willie, and she's like, I don't know if I can do this. Like, just make it happen. It's <laughs> like, well, I'm a cop. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they're not really. I, I don't know if you know this, but uh, the unless they're game. your, in, unless I'm dirty or they're informants, uh, <laughs> the cops and the drug cartel, they don't really hang out a lot. <laughs> I think the whole thing is to be like, hey, somebody killed your guys, but now they killed my guy. Yeah. So that's why they someone's kind of killing it. all of our guys. So that, yes. And, you know, they all need to in this weird thing where mm. they all have to band together to stop the predator or yeah. stop, you know, so business enemy can of my continue. enemy is my friend kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And at no point does someone say like, hey, guys, maybe the war on drugs is causing more crime than stopping. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that man. idea never floats by them. But anyway, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> well, yeah, we go to the lab. We meet this Dr. Edwards. Character. Well, well, well. This is where we get uh, uh, Jerry, you know, Bill Paxton follows Keys and they right, we well, find right. out they're at the slaughterhouse. Mm. Correct. Correct. Yeah. B.O. And, and what the fuck? Did oh, it was like B.O. and barbecue. B.O. and oh, barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, she, so she, she checks this spear. Lillian, uh, uh, Lillian 
Chauvin, by the way. Do you, do you guys, did you guys recognize this woman? Shit, what is she in? No, she's in an ex- episode of X-Files, but I didn't actually look up which episode. This was funny because I watched this with Chris last year at a barbecue, mm-hmm. and I was like, did you know that, that this is, it's this person? Do you guys know who it is? No. Mother Superior from Silent Night, Deadly Night. Okay. How can I how can I have forgotten that? You should know. <laughs> uh so anyway, yeah. They try to ID the barb uh that they find that he gets from Danny because Brenner kills Danny and takes his body and his necklace, but not the barb. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> he got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I knew. Well he forgot. went he went back to get the barb. Yeah. He's like, fuck, I forgot oh, it. Huh. That space oh, that damn it. Whoa! God! Oh, oh I got hit! Whoa, whoa, hold on. Oh. Okay, I think we're good. Wait, let me shoot this way. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Wait, wait. So the thing fell so, down. Okay. Let's look over there. Oh, I, it's that guy. I blame, oh, an alien. Ah. I blame the heat wave. I love this scene, too, because like I, I, I miss these kind of scenes. We also get one of these in the relic. Yes. You know what I mean? Where they go in and they're like, whoa, we never saw this. You know, I don't know what the com- the oh, what yeah. this metal's but, composed of. By the way, kind of I'm stuff. sorry. If I'm a scientist and I run things through my super scanner yeah. and it says it's made up of nothing that's on the periodic table, I'm not letting the cop leave with it. I'm sorry. Hell I'm like, no. I'm sorry. I need to study this for like ever. This is yeah. the most amazing find ever. It has <laughs> almost no weight. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love that. But it can, you know, cut anything with no problem. Yeah. yeah. It's like, can you leave that here? Can it, like, I'm gonna win like a fucking award for like studying this. <laughs> Chefs around the world instead, are fucking salivating right now. <laughs> instead, instead, she's just like, yeah, crazy. Must be from space. All right, Jin, bye. Jin, Jinsu knives, cut cans. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, they could cut through an Arizona rock. Uh, <laughs> frozen. <laughs> hey, did you know that the predator spear tip can cut through concrete? <laughs> oh, again. <laughs> did you know that the predator spear tip can shoot through a Jamaican? <laughs> And go through concrete. Right through their fucking head. <laughs> <sighs> of unknown origin. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I'm telling the audience. Wait, okay, wait, wait. Is, way, a, it's, is, it's, is he a big alien or, or a, wait, is he a giant alien or kind of a big he's alien? He's kind of a big alien. Yeah, he's like eight feet tall. Yeah, yeah. Pretty, I mean, that's, that's above average. Kevin right? Peter Hall's a big dude. Kevin Peter Hall, by the way, which Last we didn't even movie. fucking, we didn't I was even waiting talk for you about. to bring it up. Well, we don't really see the Predator in its full glory yet, so I was kind of waiting until oh, we got okay, okay, we'll come back. Yeah. But he does a great job. Yeah. Yes. So uh, we get the King Willie meeting and it's it's him okay. and Bill Paxton and they fucking roll up with like this zebra printed soft top fucking Cadillac. Yeah, those guys are cool. <laughs> That's me, and, we're, me and Tony are hopping in the car with them. Dude, it looks like I dream a genie inside this fucking thing. There's like pink lights going on. It's all smoky. These guys fucking got these fat boys. Oh these cannons. God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding when I say a cannon. This thing is like three fucking blunts stacked on top of each other. They got fucking they're holding like Uzis and just giant fucking j boys uh, their <laughs> eyes are just uh, they're so red they, they they probably look like those zombies from 28 days uh, later one some ganja man one some yeah you guys want some ganja man <laughs> Danny like, like, you guys better cut down so he's like all right white guy get the fuck out of here i'm gonna go with the king <laughs> willies we t- we meet king willie who's hanging out in the alley uh, he's fucking great dude calvin lockhart yes um which he was in a bunch of Lynch stuff. He was in Wild at Heart, mm-hmm. and we looked up. He was in Firewalk with He's me. in Firewalk. He's yeah. the electrician. He's got which, a very small part. Which is a super small part, but man, this is one of the big takeaways from this movie is King Willie. He's yeah. so fucking... How has NECA not done a King Willie figure know. yet? Uh, maybe actor likeness. Um, could be. Is he still alive? That could also be an issue. I don't know. His estate needs to fucking yeah. get him. Um, <laughs> yeah, King Willie only has one scene. I guess he's just hanging out in an alley. You think he'd have a nicer place. Dreadmon. Or truly. Could- Dread. I thought he says great. Truly great. I could be wrong. Truly je- truly dread. Oh. Dread. He's got a really thick accent. <laughs> he um, does. He does. It's like when my old Italian aunt used to talk to me and I was, she was trying to speak English. It was not doing a good job. And I just go, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, truly Grant. great, I think. <laughs> truly great. <laughs> truly great, man. Um, truly. I, I love how he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, you must know. Danny Glover's like, oh, you must know where the fuck, what this is. And he goes, I don't know who he is, <laughs> but I know where he is. <laughs> the other side. The other side. But it's so funny that he's doing this whole thing and like you as the audience is like, oh, this fuck, he's wrong about yeah. everything. Yeah. I know. He's so wrong. Well, not necessarily. I mean, uh, he's wrong. Straight mm-hmm. up. He's just no. straight up wrong. No. Because he thinks that the predator, because it's invisible, is a fucking ghost. Mm-hmm. Yes, but you did you also know that ghosts were considered, well, alien. now in retrospect, thinking about ghost encounters could be alien encounters. I could see that. I could Going see that. Going back and like people waking up and like, the, the, there's a, 
there's a whole fucking episode I could do on it. Oh, but... I mean, no, I, I, I can answer you right now. Uh, ghost encounters aren't real. <laughs> so what about alien encounters? Uh, jury's still out on that. But okay. I'm also going to say probably not real. But what if aliens induced images in your brain to make you think you were seeing a ghost and or uh, spectral entity? Well, ghosts aren't real, so I don't know why they would want me to see th- something that isn't real. Well, right. They don't want you to see something that's real, so you wake up the next day and go, that wasn't real. That was ghosts, not aliens. So King Willie, he... Uh... <laughs> He has a bunch of bones. He has he's a bunch, got he's, metatarsal bones. Right. He's throwing the fucking bones, trying to trying to get it th- throw himself. He reminds a bone. me of a uh, Daroy Lindo's character in The Devil's Advocate. How he was like this extremely wealthy criminal, but he hung out in like this in abject squalor in this building. <laughs> and King Willie is the leader of this voodoo cult. He's assume you assume he has tons of money. He's just hanging out in a fucking alley. He's yeah. modest, Tony. Listen to Dumpster. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the, the, the alley real quickly, yeah. uh, I don't, you said dumpster, I think of alley, mm. uh, because I was reading Spawn that. Spawn alley, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, all the alleys they shot these in were actual alleys in LA, and mm. they said they had like the worst fucking time doing it because there was rats all over the place. Mm. People hated that they were filming the movie there and were literally throwing feces and bags at them from windows. Looks great, though. Uh, people were just oh, pissing wow, on wow, the streets. Wow, wow feces on the streets of downtown LA. I know hard to believe, right? Ah. You see it a lot. Well, uh, Skid, I, I was, I, by the way, Skid Row, I found out <laughs> was not just a cutesy name. It is horrifying. Like, like skids in your underwear. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's, it's like, Oh, that I, this name is very appropriate. <laughs> you don't want to go there. No, Fair enough. Not go Fair to enough. Skid Row. I, I like, so, uh, <laughs> so yeah, Willie gets a lot of good, uh, one liners here. Um, you know, the prepare yourself line. Yeah. That's a great one. You know what's cool about that? I read, I just, I thumbed through the comic before. That's mm. right there. And um, the Predator later says that to Harrigan. Oh, that's like cool. Like it comes uh, back. Just yeah. like, you know, instead of want some candy, yeah. he says prepare yourself. I don't know. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. he, I don't yeah. know why the Predator assumed King Willie was a threat. I don't think he's a threat. No, because he's the guy. If you remember when Danny's talking. Does in the, the predator know that, though? Is he yeah. able to like understand English to that Dude, point? I think okay. so. They've been coming here long enough. I guess. Okay. Um, I guess if he's tracking them, he's what, like, all right, that must be an important. Uh, sure. Guy, yeah. But yeah. when Dan specifically, I'm going to tie this together. When Danny is in the, the penthouse, the Colombian guy's penthouse, he mentions that no, none of the Jamaican gangs anywhere in the world will make a move without mm-hmm. approval from King Willie. So he's like. A, the head dude yeah so of course that's a trophy you know yes. what i'm saying and he also fights him in hand-to-hand combat which we're about to see yes which is this is this is um comparable to the billy fight in the previous film yeah. where you don't actually see the fight yes but it's awesome you get Agreed. it it's a little bit of billy but i think this might even be cooler than when the predator finally falls out down the waterfall and comes out and emerges I mean, when I, Dutch goes up and covers himself in mud yeah. for the first time, I, the, oh, the yeah. effects don't the, the the okay. Why is the water able to reflect him? I I thought that was really fucking cool. It's a cool right. visual. But it's you, fucking sick, dude. It's a cool visual, but when you think about it, like logically, like I, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not thinking about it logically yeah. in terms of like, oh, because it's predator technology. I do I don't love to see where he's like stepping in the water dude, and it's when on he, him. When and he, that's like pre CGI, so like the way they did it is like that's insane. all insane. Film composited. Yeah. So so he drops down and his dude, man, that fucking tracking shot mm-hmm. following him when his feet are stomping in the water and the puddles are fucking shooting everywhere yeah. and that sound, yeah. it's so badass. Mm-hmm. Willie really takes out his fucking uh, yeah sword cane. snake, co- snake yeah. sword cane yeah and i just love the, the the scream and then the reveal that his head has been cut it's severed yeah, yeah yeah and then uh well before we get to this amazing thing i just have to say sure still think the waterfall scene's a little better but yeah. i think you're comparing i mean it's your your prerogative or your preference yeah. rather i just like the way it feels it, it looks I, fucking awesome yeah. i'm not trying to take away from it i just that waterfall scene yeah. is like iconic and i me. no, it's iconic i just think this one's executed a little bit yeah yeah and not again, that i don't like it and again yeah, yeah. talking about like trying to do what the other movie did but like adding something so yes. we see him cleaning the skull oh this was great and we saw him clean the skulls in the previous yeah. movie and it's like a little tree hut mm-hmm. but like as he's cleaning it's like wait a minute he's got a lot of like equipment and here. it's like where the fuck and then is he, he puts it on the thing and it starts to zoom out and you see more skulls it's like there's something else going on. But in this it's movie. so fleeting too, because yes. you're like, oh. And I remember being a kid going, like seeing yeah. <laughs> I, you don't see it fully. No. You just see a hint. And I remember being a kid going, wait, what? 
That's, oh, a, that's not a human skull. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah. <laughs> I love his little vacuum that he has to suck yeah, all the fucking shit vacuum. off it. He's got like this cool thing. like uh, scalping tool yeah. that he uses. It's really yeah. fucking neat, man. <laughs> so yeah, so then we get the uh we get a little back and forth between uh Harrigan and everybody where he's like, Oh yeah, take the take the subway or whatever, I'll meet you there. Well, because mm-hmm. they figure out by studying the the spear tip, she doesn't the doctor doesn't find anything to match the periodic table, but she gets some kind of I forget exactly what she says, but they... they C- cattle, blood, and steroids. Yeah, and they're yeah. like, oh, it must be the slaughterhouse. And yep. then Bill Paxton's like, oh, that's where I lost keys. Yeah. Mm. And then they're going to meet there because Danny Clover calls from like a, a pay phone, but he's got to make a, a pit stop. So weird weird thing about this, the funeral in the comics, there's like a full funeral. Yeah, uh-huh. it, I, watching it today, I'm like, oh yeah, I never really thought about it. They just skip over his funeral. Yeah. Like, did they go to it? So oh. in the comic, there's a full scene where they go to the funeral and Tony Pope's there. <laughs> And Pilgrim punches him in the face, and he's like, "It's a fucking funeral for Christ's sake!" Yeah. I wonder if that's a delete. Do they have? Well, they gotta save him getting punched is. in the face for later. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if they, I don't know if it was shot or whatever, but it's mm. definitely a comic. Um, but it, but he goes to visit Danny's grave, and uh, there's like a little kid like with his parents who has like this fake gun, and this is where the fucking the iconic, where where's your thing? There it is. Oh, there it is. Want some candy? Want some. <laughs> Candy, want some, want, candy? Want, want, want some well, candy? this also kind of puts that idea more in your head that if he realizes, if the predator realizes you're not a threat, it's not going to go after you because it, it first is about to blow this fucking kid away and then realizes the weapon's fake and just, you know, lets it go. Which also keys you in on his different vision modes. Yes, that's which an is kind of cool. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, yeah, when you're thinking about it, like how would he know the difference? And yeah. you see that it scans it and yeah. he realizes like, I don't know, it's fine. Yeah, he's, it's, also, fucking Predator is so distracted by Danny Glover. He lets a little kid sneak up on him. He's like, fuck, I'm invisible. What? <laughs> dude, dude, he's hot for, for, uh, for Danny Glover because- he's straight up, you're right. This is straight up taunting. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's not even okay. stalking anymore. This part, he's like- He's fucking with us. So, so we talked about this briefly uh, before we got before we jumped on. Mm-hmm. Now, the Predator leaves Danny's necklace in a tree mm-hmm. next by where the grave is. Yeah. Watch some candy. Intentionally for Danny Glover to find. Mm. And he picks it up and he freaks it's out. Te- and he, and he's tense. swinging around and he's like, he's like, oh, the, you know, it must be here. It's a tense ass scene, especially oh, like, great. like I said, I hadn't seen the whole movie, so I was like, all right, I know Danny Glover makes it to the end, but what the fuck's gonna happen here? Yeah. And like, nothing does. It's more of a fake mm. out. But... It blows my mind that this was your first complete watch through. You must have had such a good time. Mm. I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so, so your guy's argument is he's taunting him with Danny's necklace. That's now, how I. No, I don't think so. And the reason for that is there's multiple shots of the predator. Predator vision where we see Danny, Danny and, and Mike together and like their camaraderie and how they feel about each other or whatever, because mm. they're like partners. Um, I think the Predator is giving it back to him uh, as like a token to remember his friend, because we again, this is a tribal race that has these this kind of honor system within their hunting parameters. Uh, I could see that. The only reason why I would slightly disagree with you, but I don't totally because I, I like that, mm-hmm. is that then the next scene, the Predator straight up like picking off his subordinates. Well, OK, so I got let's get into that and then I'll okay, I'll, okay, I'll okay. tell you what I think about that yeah. and why. This scene scares the shit out of me. So oh, this is probably one of the best scenes in the this movie. This fucking scene is like expertly crafted. By the way, just want to say we're going to probably show some clips. If you have epilepsy, just here's a warning for you or anything with flashing lights because we're going to show some clips. And if you're um, uh, if you're smelling this, <laughs> there's a lot of latex and uh, it smells pretty bad. I'm sorry. Um, Again, one of the hottest days this summer so far. And Tony <laughs> is in a latex suit. Yeah. Do people smell your show? Smell a vision. I guess yeah. they can't. Oh, we well, smell yeah, vision. we hand out cards sometimes. No, not yet. Well, actually, that's a great idea. We're going to do that now. Patreon watch along. Stay tuned for scratch and sniff cards. Yes. Yes. And it will smell like Tony and latex. Yes. Suit. That's okay, the first okay. We'll have to do bad taste. Really get the smell of that gruel. I, oh. felt, I felt bad. You guys both did warnings. I didn't want to warn. Like, it was, oh, it's all right. I to warn are, are you? Is it? Well, it came without warning. Oh. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and this one, this shirt is just. Hey, cavity colors, you're going to keep saying it every fucking episode. Please, if you're even um, watching it this far. And... I have a movie dumpster shirt. <laughs> Who are those guys? Oh, real quick, before we get into the subway scene. Yeah. Speaking of without warning, I wore this on purpose. Did you talk about this on your Predator episode? I did not. Okay. And now that I'm seeing it, memories are popping up. There's something. So so we, so we not only is Kevin Peter Hall the alien yes. in this movie, just like he's the alien in, in the Predator movie, but uh, this, is a, this is a Graydon Clark film. 
Oh, okay. And when we interviewed him, he said that uh, he had seen an interview with uh, Schwarzenegger on the first uh, Predator movie talk mm. about without warning and be like, yeah, you ever see that movie without warning? It's kind of like that movie. And it's nearly verbatim <laughs> without warning. So Graydon Clark was not very happy about no, that. Put he, it that way. He got a good kick out of it. Well, he's usually, he's more upset about joysticks and how he got fucked over that. But, uh, I yeah. was upset the first time I saw joysticks. Why? Uh, Justin found a free copy on YouTube and it was a horrible transfer Ugh. that was desaturated and dark and I couldn't see anything. <laughs> oh no. So then I had to do a review based off watching that version. Oh my God. But then while editing it, I found a better version. I'm like, oh, this movie, when I can see what's going on, this movie's a lot of fun. It's a ton of fun. <laughs> so here's the subway scene. Mm -hmm. Now, this is like the shining star, I think, of this movie. What yes. do you think? Yes, like this, 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 this whole sequence is fucking crazy. The scene of him on top of the subway, like crawling, scared me. It's yeah. fucking freaky, man. Yeah. And what a what a way to like have this kind of claustrophobic mm. thing with the with the predator. I thought yeah. that was a really smart thing to do because again, in the original, he's in this giant jungle where it's mm. still scary because he could be anywhere, and you're like, where is he? Yeah. But like now you're in fucking close quarters with this killing machine. Yes. <laughs> right. Uh, and, and again, the flashing lights are disorienting. Yes. So cloaked. And I feel like it was perfected upon in um, Halloween, the curse of Michael Myers, the theatrical. Oh, where yeah. They also had the very confined flashing strobe lights. I'm sure Sean agrees with me. So let's keep going. <laughs> Fuck that movie. <laughs> go back and listen to our review. Well, OK, before, I have. To, I'm not going to go into it here before before we keep going. What's a better subway scene? Part eight. American World from Paris. Or this movie. Okay. Well, part eight <laughs> is not good. <laughs> you um, don't say. It was funny. My friend Justin Wang said that's the best Friday the 13th movie. Oh, I wanted to be like, what? Anyway. Uh, I mean, that scene is fun for that movie because finally it's something New York-y. Sure. Uh, I don't even remember American Werewolf in Paris. Me other than, other than it being the superior film. <laughs> <in> the <American. laughs> <laughs> which I just, I, I, which I just say to piss you off. I, I haven't watched the movie in a long And time. I'm just busting fucking balls because yeah. there is no contest. It's this movie. Oh, yeah. It's this one. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe there's other movies that have a subway. Yeah. Like Midnight Meat Train. That's a whole movie on a subway. Sp uh, Spider-Man Spider 2. Amazing Spider-Man 2. <laughs> when I was Amazing Spider-Man 1. Oh. Well, I was yes. going to say just Spider-Man 2. It's pretty fucking. I, I'll use That's the word again, iconic. That's not a subway. Come on. A don't, don't be technical here. <laughs> Tur Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They don't even, I was going to say the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they don't even actually get on the subway. It's just a cool scene where he runs past the subway train. Well, this yes. is also, we have a message for you. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's the Predator, exactly. it's Predator 2. It's a great movie. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so so we're, so we're this is the subway scene. And um, so we're, we're on this fucking train. And again, we get some more like on the ground shit that's like happening within the city right now. Yes. Because like there's like the straight business people and the old folks that are on the fucking train just trying to just trying to make ends meet. Right. Mm -hmm. And you got the fucking punkers and the and the gang members, the low, low level gang members. Yeah. Bill Paxson's old buddies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck I love you, the, asshole. The, the dorky guy. He's like, oh, fuck yes, I'll give you money. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no need for that. <laughs> okay, mine's like, bigger than yours. <laughs> but well, that's a great scene because then right after that, all like all the other civilians pull out their guns. Oh my god! Now yeah. everybody on the train is fucking armed with a gun, and Bill packs it in. And, yeah. uh, I, I love the girl that won't sit down. Yeah, and uh, he's like, we don't need any uh, daytime Rambo. Yeah, yeah we need like sit down, <laughs> loosen but your like sphincters. But I like that the Predator is stalking just them two and he sees all the guns and he's like, dude, I'm gold mine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, that's my that's what I was going to say. His mm. fucking dick gets hard. And he's like, if I go in there and slaughter all these people, like I'm going to be higher in the ranks. Yes. Because I'm taking all these people out in one big thing with the guns. Right. Yeah. And he busts he, through the oh fucking roof. Oh, my God. He <laughs> fucking drops in mm. and just starts slaughtering motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, the comic gives you a little bit more graphic stuff because everything's very flashy and you mm. get like glimpses of things. But he's like gutting fucking people yeah. and throwing people across the train. Yeah. He's getting unloaded on, too. Oh, yeah. Big time. Nothing's and of course, he, he has that final standoff with Bill Paxton. Yeah. He says oh. the famous line. Want some candy? Yeah. Want some candy? <laughs> Want some candy? <laughs> Bill Paxton should be like, yeah, but not right now. <laughs> Candy's my specialty. <laughs> Get over, man. <laughs> Candy's my specialty. He throws his fucking lucky golf ball. Hey, what the him. fuck was that? <laughs> he had that the whole movie. That oh, ball. missed opportunity. Hey, Lieutenant, don't worry. Diane's my specialty. <laughs> 
right? I love how he just picks up a fucking like machete one of the punkers had and oh, just it... dives at the predator. Come yeah. on, fucker, let's dance. Yeah, dude, like, dude, it's badass. That's after yeah. he unloaded three Uzi clips on this yeah. thing and it yeah. did nothing. I love this too. Well, okay, so so uh emergency stop. I love the panic in here mm. where they're pushing everybody to the front car and the lights go out in the in the back car. Mm. The, the emergency stop happens and um Leona gets out. And she's ushering everybody out and the predator and she goes back to see Bill Paxson and see if he's still alive. He's fucking strung up yeah. and the predator grabs her and picks her up, but doesn't kill her. And he like mm. it like it like shoot it like focuses in on her stomach and like knows that she's pregnant. Yeah, um, I guess she didn't even know because I would not be doing I all this not. shit. I'd be like, hey, can I work at a desk for a little bit? I got a, I got a bun in the oven. I don't really want to be out. On the street. I yeah, guess. Yeah. But like this is another uh use of the bio helmet that we've never seen before too yes. where it's like this super zoom in and like and like all yeah. of it like it can see inside her too not mm -hmm. just the heat signature yeah yeah and i was reading that i guess the novelization that exists uh so i guess stay tuned yeah uh book to the movie oh that'll uh, be a good one I, I guess they go into this more i mean it's pretty obvious that's what happens and that's why he doesn't kill her mm. but i would be curious to see like based on what i read at least that uh the predator has more logic to why he doesn't kill her. Well, I think it's the thing actual hunters do. Like, don't hunters like not hunt during mating season or something? Yeah, I mean, I mean that's just standard thing. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, so we grew up on the shore, and I would crab a lot. And yeah. the thing with the crabs was you'd flip them over and see if they were female or not, or pregnant. And you'd throw the females back. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So they can propagate the species. Yeah, so that you can hunt more later. I feel like my grandfather okay. did that with deer. You could do that, but too. now that deer are so overpopulated, I'm like, they got to change well, that fucking. Yeah, well, yeah. you're also you're a machine gun. Yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to shoot does. You only yeah. bucks. Yeah. So then Danny Glover gets there, and the chaos is like kind of like breaking out of the the subway. Oh, it's so good. And mm -hmm. he just sees Leona getting carried off in a fucking stretcher, and he's like, "What the hell happened?" And she's like, "This woman's pregnant." And he's like, "Fuck, she's <laughs> pregnant." He goes down and meets Pilgrim on the on the train, and he's like shocked he's like i don't know what happened i don't know where jerry is here's his badge because there's a big <laughs> streak of blood out of yeah. the fucking thing so harrigan goes to yeah. follow it which is one of the coolest scenes in the movie because we come around this corner in the subway and the predator's literally ripping the fucking spine out of bill paxton's body and just drops <laughs> it off onto the oh, track that was bill so. paxton yeah he's like jerry oh i could never yeah. tell who that was when i was watching i yeah I missed the the I, call out again i guess because at the end of the fight he fucking just went at it with a friggin' blade mm. and i mean again maybe maybe i'm reading too much into that but i think that is the thing that's kind of like an honor code with yeah. this with this uh, race he, he mm. faced him hand to hand and he was like all right well i want that as a trophy yeah yeah so now Harrigan's out for fucking blood now. Yeah, and I love this whole chase here. Oh. I love that, like, because again, you know, Predator, it's contained in the jungle and whatnot. Yeah. And unlike fucking Friday the 13th, yeah. this one's actually embracing the killer in the city. Big time. It's mm. not doing many L.A. things. But it's embracing the killer. In the There's city. a lot of L.A. street, uh, street level like, shit. Sh there oh, for Christ's sake. There should have been a scene where they go to like a movie that's being filmed and the Predator's there. And well, someone... we had that scene where uh, Henry King, he got knocked off the building. I think the implication is there's a movie being filmed there, hence the catering he falls well, into. Well, 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 <laughs> the picnic. I thought someone was just having a lovely picnic. Oh, okay. No, there should have been a scene where he's on a movie set and someone goes, wow, it almost looks real. And like the guy for up. Yeah. When, 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 uh, when Stryker scares the shit out of uh, Linnea Quigley. Oh, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Or Toxic Avenger 3. Or Toxic Avenger 3. <laughs> when he's or like, the, the cardboard looks <laughs> <laughs> I um, get what you mean, though. No, yeah. totally. They should have done a few more L.A. things. He should have been on the Hollywood side. <laughs> uh, he goes to that big building, though. Um, but yeah, no, I love that he's just jumping on the cars Dude, in front of everyone. Climbing up this thing. He, and he has the skull the whole time, too. <laughs> like, and the spinal cord. Yeah. And he's and they're like, mm. yeah, the fucking dents happening on all the cars. Everybody's like, mm. what the fuck? Yeah. Dan uh, Danny Glover runs outside. Morton's there. Morton Downey Jr.'s there. And he's like, oh, no, they're killing hot air again. More blood, more mutilation. Fuck you. And no. he just <laughs> knocks him the fuck out. The best part of the scene is not the punch. It's the aftermath of the camera just shooting him. And he's knocked out on the ground. <laughs> and they make a uh, comment earlier in the film when Robert Dobby's like flipping out about uh, yeah. uh, Harrigan's like police work. And he's like, you've destroyed seven patrol cars. So he gets in another one. And I'm like, well, this thing ain't going to last long. <laughs> Starts like, Plowing through fucking like steel <laughs> barriers behind this uh, building. And it, it, it's here where we get the shot of the predator like yeah. showing yeah. off and the uh, yeah, he gets struck by lightning. And I guess whatever protective light bending thing he has can protect him it was from the, lightning. It was the Jason lightning. <laughs> 
He's on top of the eastern building. Yeah, like the lightning just circles around him. Like, I'm going to assume whatever invisibility thing was Char- responsible Charges for up his weapons? Sure. Could be. Sure. Supercharges it. Um, yeah. I, I, it's, it's a cool little thing, too, that you might miss. But, like, you know, when Harrigan's, like, trying to track him and shit, he's up by, like, this neon sign. Mm-hmm. And it almost is like the cloak, like, interferes with the neon. And, like, the neon, like, short circuits and, like, yeah. pops, which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so, was it raining in that scene? Where did the lightning come from? That's what I'm saying. Was it just heat lightning? I Maybe. think so. <laughs> Seriously, though. Could probably. Because it was so fucking hot. Yes, that's 109 true. 109 degrees, Tony, for the last 45 days. <laughs> uh, so he's chasing him with this patrol car, and he kind of corners it near the uh, slaughterhouse, and he gets out to kind of trail it, and fucking Busey's men just fucking charges. Dude, yeah. they oh. T-bone his ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, they pull him out and bring him into the little fucking oh, shit I'm shack. I'm watching the movie and I'm like, "What the fuck is even happening? Wait, yeah. Who crashed into him?" And I'm like, "Oh." oh. Yeah. <laughs> the movie, the movie is just giving you just so many like dead groups of people, and then toward the end, it's like, "Yeah, hey, we'll throw another one in." Fuck it, <laughs> and it, they don't stop because I guess that's what that's what would happen. Yeah. So, so you know, we finally get the whole deal of what Busey's doing. He's basically like the Utani version, like half mm. of Waylon Utani, right? No, kind they of. never say that. They never say yeah. that, but kind of. But uh, because I think he's just working. For no, the no, he's, and he's just working for the army because yeah. it's alien technology. Yes. So he's been tracking this fucking thing and he basically break, you know, he gives Harrigan the whole lore of the creature, how like 10 years ago, the there thing happened with two survivors, yeah, two survivors. He blew up a half a city block yeah. or some shit. <laughs> I, I also do like, though, how they talk about and they mentioned this earlier in the film how they've been setting up like sensors all over the city to track yeah, this like radar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and they see like the uh almost like an like, it is the camo but it's almost like the after shadow of the predator walking around yeah, yeah. it's yeah. cool a fucking alien yes yeah. um, he's like you don't know what you're dealing with yeah. Danny Glover. i keep telling you danny glover the whole fucking movie you don't know what you're dealing yeah. with um so uh so their plan is to fucking because he the, the, he's like the creature sees an infrared so we're gonna wear these suits we're gonna fucking put a bunch of radioactive dust inside the uh, the building, the meat pack, the mm-hmm. uh, meat packaging building, so that we can see him. We're gonna use UV lights, um, so he glows <laughs> instead, <laughs> like his uh, cloaking device, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna freeze him. Yes, because of course, he's we, reptilian. Because we uh, question mark <laughs> <laughs> because he they want his technology, and Harrigan's like, "You're a fucking idiot." <laughs> like, Straight it's probably, up, it's probably isn't gonna work. I mean, I think it was a good plan. I, it's, no, it's not a good plan. You want to know why? Because he's an advanced hunter who clearly has more technology to deal with your bullshit, which we're going to see in a second. Well, they don't know <laughs> that. They broke out they, that jump to conclusions, Matt. Dude, they grossly about underestimated Based this creature. Off the information they had, I think it was a good plan. <laughs> I they've only been studying this fucking thing for 10 weeks or some shit. Yeah, they didn't know about the helmet changing stuff. That's wow. my point. Yeah. I also, it, my head canon a little bit here is that Arnold told him a lot of shit that they just didn't like take into consideration because okay. it's like, he's like, no, oh, I'm telling you. And it's like, he goes into all this shit that would like actually be pertinent. Like, all right, well, we got We got the info we need. Yeah. Uh, infrared. Yeah, sure. So, okay. so it doesn't attack you if you're not armed. Okay. Get all the guns. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bring all the guns my, okay. In. All right. Put only flashlights only on. if I tell you to. Right. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This motherfucker is killing him anyway. Yes. Wow. And this scene. Because he's been had. So now I, he has I, I lo- to kill him. I love this movie, but this scene feels like they're like, well, we got to do the aliens. Dude, scene. it is like, ah. very aliens. Like down yeah. to down to the I'm Danny Glover. and I'm going to take the fucking thing and tell Keys to get out of there. Yeah. True. True. Yeah. Um, which is all right with me because there's not too many ways to do this scene. Mm -hmm. But I like it because there's a lot of like just visual storytelling with the Predator Mm -hmm. where it's figuring out, wait, this seems weird. Why can't I see anything? Yeah, he he knows that there's people. He like hears them. He sees like like aberrations, but he's like, what the fuck? He sees the shit coming down and he's like, what is this shit? Yeah, he's like, there's something going on. And I like he has the thing and he cycles through the visions, which they do in the video games, like Alien vs. Predator 2. Like you need a certain vision to see aliens and a certain vision to see like humans. Uh, yeah, and I like that. And he he doesn't even see them. He just sees their lights. Yeah, and he goes, yeah. fuck. And he's like, yeah, he does. He goes, <laughs> well, I love him. The Predator, like, reminds me of a cat a little bit. Like, yeah. the way it vocalizes, it's always kind of like, eh. Like you said, he's I can't even replicate yet. it. He's but more of a, a character. Of like, whereas the first movie is like this antagonistic force. He's like a character in this. Yeah. yeah, and there's a big there's a big thing with the first one where it's like the jungle is more of a character. Kind yeah, of. true. And, yeah. Like, and like being stuck there and stranded and what have you. But I like that they were like, the right, if we try to do the whole mystery mystery thing again it's just going to be tired let's make him more of a character let's see him a little bit more i think not in a way to just show up the monster but like yeah let's make him part of like the story he's not just like 
yeah. hunting them. He's he's got his own thing. We see him figuring stuff out. He's yeah. got a taste for beef. Yeah, that's why he's there. And they wow. they did a little bit of that in the first one, where like the predator knows what Arnold's doing. Yeah, and I guess he couldn't cycle through stuff. But he but eventually he just well, starts, he takes his helmet off. He starts having to look like for him or look for things around. Well, because it's purely he's not trying to trick him with like an infrared suit or anything, and he doesn't have a light. He just yeah, has the mud true. covering his body heat. That's true. Um. So yeah. So which wouldn't work. We talked about in my episode. Apparently, it insulates your body heat more. Probably, it uh, probably gets hotter in your body. Yeah. Yeah. It's still a cool. That's how they used to make molds too, like yeah. back in like yeah. back back when. By the way, uh, yeah, we'll talk about when he gets his helmet off. Because uh, I got questions about the predator. Okay, right. so uh, things go awry. Of course, uh, predator. They've been had, and and Harrigan's like, get out of there, keys. He's got the spear at this point. Dude, by the way, he jumps down in the middle of these fucking guys uh, and yeah. just starts stabbing motherfuckers uh, and yes. throwing motherfuckers. Um, it's awesome. It is funny. The, the spear has become so iconic with Predator fans. The combi stick, that's what it's called. Yeah, and y- people usually think of it, like, when you're, like, people were drawing Predators and in comics and yeah. stuff, it's always got the spear, and it's, like, it's so funny, like, it's not in the first movie. No. It's like, it's like, it's like Darth Vader's theme. Not in the first movie. But it's so fucking cool, so let's yes, use it every awesome. time. Yeah, I love it. how with telescope, the effect yeah. to have a telescope when it, like, yeah. shrinks down, and the, and the cinematography of, like, the 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 swift pan like down yeah. oh also i forgot to mention that fucking whip pan of the uh when the guy gets thrown out of the subway window oh, the yeah. subway car yeah. window that's fucking sick yeah. anyway, i also like that he does use the spear a few times throughout but it's not like the main weapon but like the back half of the movie it is kind of his go-to mm-hmm. yeah well it's that yeah it's that and the, the glaive disc. eventually yeah. yeah i also like that he can auto aim it's fucking cool. Yeah. So 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 Harrigan's like, fuck this, I'm getting out of here. And one of the best lines of the movie, because he has the he grabs one of the yeah. dudes and, and has a gun to his head and he brings it to the door to open it. And he's like, It's Adam Baldwin. Adam Baldwin. Adam Baldwin. Yeah, he's like, he's like, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> fuck yourself. And he leaves. <laughs> Danny so Glover good. is so good in this. It's so good. Uh yeah. so so Danny Glover suits up and fucking blows a hole in the door in the side of this yeah. fucking meatpacking place. Mm-hmm. At the simultaneously, the predator has his plasma caster locked on Gary Busey. Yeah. He turns around to see Danny Glover, and he's like, oh, there's my prize over there. While he's looking this way, the plasma (laughs) caster's still this way, and it just shoots uh, (laughs) Gary Busey as he jumps down to go after Danny Glover. It's awesome. Um, I do like, uh, because I guess the Predator's is his cloak messed up now? I well, guess because of the stuff. Yeah. So, so when he uses the plasma caster, he like sets off the uh, the, sprinklers. the sprinklers. Okay. So yeah, he like tries the cloak and it doesn't work. Yeah. So I like the predator has to resort to just hiding behind a box. It's, well, he's like behind a couple because Harrigan's fucking lighting him yeah. up, dude. Oh yeah. And he's just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> but uh, there is one thing like he gets he gets shot twice in the helmet and it's just the same shot recycled. Cut yeah. to it. It's the same shot recycled <laughs> with the most cartoony ricochet sound. <laughs> Well, he also fucking shoots his uh, plasma cannon out. And yeah, he yeah. takes it off, which is cool. He's like, it's like, you all right, we're coming him. up with new ways to get the same thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's not just, oh, I'm going to decide. It's like, oh, my fucking thing doesn't work. Anymore. Yeah. Well, now it's busted. You're not taking it off to like fight hand to hand or something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So his thing gets fucked up and it, it ends up going after Danny Glover with this like wrist rocket and yeah. like shoots him in the chest and like fucking knocks him back. Thank God he had And it's a, like drilling in. Yeah. yeah. And he has to like take it off, off yeah. which is kind of neat. Also an aliens thing a little bit, yeah. but still cool. Yeah. Uh, I love how we do have a kind of talking about the door swings both ways yeah. Uh, yeah. where Danny Glover's now on the defensive and the predators charging at him and he keeps like pushing these like uh, meat pat, you know, pat, yeah. these, yeah, these the, dead the beef, Yeah, yeah, the beef yeah, sides. Yeah. Like back the and forth, Rocky so fucking Balboa beast. Yes. So it's like the vision keeps like fucking up because it can't see him. And then he like turns around at the end of the hallway and he's got this fucking like, you know, you know, special shotgun or whatever. And starts pumping lead into this well, predator. Well, the fucking predator is getting lit up. Oh, right, and it's right, so right, yeah, cool right, to right. see like you're like, oh, he's going to fucking kill it. They take a lot of damage. Dude, predators. I mean, they're, they're strong motherfuckers. Yeah. So he knocks it down with this shotgun and he goes over like uh, like Tony said, and he yeah. and he tries to take the mask off. This is cool, man, because he figures out how to, like, pop the thing off yeah. and, like, take the, the bio mask off, mm-hmm. which I read that I guess people think or maybe this is in the lore that that's like a, a dishonor to him that somebody took off his mask rather than him taking it off himself. I would think so. Big time. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I like the look of the Predator, though. It's different. They so has awesome. more spikes. Yeah. More, um, more pussy on the mouth. Yeah. More pussy in the oh, mouth. Pussy face. Yeah. yeah. Pussy face. This is the Side note. 
it's in the closet, but I have a Predator 2 one sheet, and yeah. I have my buddy Evan uh, Kyle have it, get it signed by Gary Busey and Danny Glover because I couldn't make it to the convention. <laughs> so I gave him a piece of paper. I said, please have him do this. Hmm. Put the, Write this on there. So he gives it the piece of paper to Danny Glover. Danny Glover's like, you sure you want me to put that? And he's like, yep, my buddy wants me to put that. So if you will post a picture of it, well, it'll be in this video. Yeah. Danny Glover said, "Okay, pussy face, it's your move." <laughs> and that's what he wrote. Great, uh, but I love. They're like, "Well, we gotta say the line again." Oh, I love how they do yeah. it. Though. They don't actually do many lines from the first one, but they do this one. It's, it's like, kind of fine though. You're one ugly, and then the predator grabs him and finishes the line. Motherfucker. <laughs> well, because Danny Glover saying "motherfucker," this motherfucker, that throughout, yeah. so it makes. Sense. I will There's say a lot of cursing say, in this movie. I will say the close up of the predator. There's a couple close ups on the predator's face that look. Awkward. That's one of them. And I think there's one later where he gets wide eyed. He's like, <laughs> Oh, Couple when he goes, yeah. when he cuts, well, we'll get yeah. I mean, you're giving the predator like what we were just talking about, like emotion. Not that I didn't have a little yeah. in the first one, but it's like really like several different types of emotion rather than it's pissed, it's upset, and that's it. Mm. There's surprise, there's yeah. excitement. Yeah. That's what his little squee is. Yeah. In the but you're right. This is when like. he gets up now. Yeah. Gary Busey. He fucking picks him up and throws him over. Yes. Him. Uh, and Busey jumps down like he's the fucking hero of the movie with half his okay. face burned. Get out of here okay. again. This is between me and him. Okay. I got to talk about this stuff. <laughs> okay. It's I, weird. It's weird. It's baffled me for many years. Okay. So he's that he's still trying to use the freeze thing. I think. Yeah, I don't get that. Yeah, well, he's still trying to capture his prize. Uh, he's he should, he's an idiot, but he yeah, should just give up on that. I mm. So we get the disc. Yeah, and he throws the disc, and we see the disc is going cutting the meat, cutting the meat, cutting the meat, and it cuts Gary Busey. And we see his legs fall down. I'm like, okay, he's been cut in half, and then you see blood pour down. It's like, wait, wait, what? How is he being suspended in the air? Okay. Maybe he grabbed one of those sides of beef. That's what I, maybe, but I, we need a shot of that. Like, because I'm just like, wait, how? That doesn't make any sense. That, it's still a good scene. That though. is one of two things that I think are a fuck up in this movie. Yeah. But I agree that it, it looks cool. The second fuck up is right after this. They fuck up the Predator vision. Because they show him as if he has the helmet on when if you watch Predator, he now, has like now, that red yeah. vision. Up now, now, it. now. They only show it, I think, like once. Uh, how I maybe he's wearing contact lenses. How I get <laughs> which we, we actually talked about. Every, how I interpret that is, uh, maybe he just has better vision. Maybe that other predator was older and their vision Could gets be. worse with age. Maybe yeah. he just has better vision. I mean, it's kind of a nitpick at this point, yeah. but I have to say, just because it's like, all no, right, no, guys. I, I agree, and it yeah. would. I feel like it should be red, but they could be a thing where, like, because remember, the predators aren't like. Human, you know how there's only one species mm. of human, like we yeah. vary in color and True. size and stuff sure. like that. Yeah. But there could just be different species of predators that evolved together. Well, For some reason, well, all the other sapiens died except for Homo sapiens. Oh well, yeah. Well, yeah. let me also throw this at you. There are some humans that are colorblind or can't that's see, another thing. or can't okay. see a, okay. or can't see a certain spectrum. That's so a, why that's would a, that be different? Because that always predators. bothered me when yeah. I was younger. But I was just like, right, maybe just he has okay vision. Like, maybe it's not just, but we know from the first one, it's not just the mask doing heat vision. They just see heat. Well, yeah. The mask probably, the mask for the first well, Predator right, was yeah. probably fine tuning it. Yeah. The question I have is, and I asked this in the previous episode, no one could come up with stuff. Let's see. Uh, why do they have so many, like, articulated, detailed stuff that they can't fucking see? What do you mean? Like the treadlocks and the, the um, little designs on their, uh, their, like, weapons and whatnot. The little, like artistic choices they make you're, you're suggesting like, that they can't see that i feel well we see their vision they can't see it clearly well let me also argue with the fact that if you were born that way no that's the only way you would be able to see no no no. but i'm just saying like why is their stuff so detailed and articulate mm. even their language i'm like how do they read that how the fuck do they read they're that? An, they're an advanced species but uh, they have deep tribal connections yeah. like it's a tribal species I just, physically how do they see yeah, that's it? Good and vibe. i'm telling you <laughs> if they were born with that vision they would have had that vision their whole life yeah. so they'd be able to see details like I that guess... in a different way to them and that's how it's interpreted does that make sense and i guess they could have other senses that we yeah but if you about. put if you put on if they you put on, their nose. If you, <laughs> if you went upstairs and put on the glasses that I wear yeah. and tried to fucking write your name or something or read a book, mm. you wouldn't be able to do it. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So when I we see so. the Predator vision, of course it looks fucked up to us, yeah. but yeah. it looks normal to them. I guess so. Know what I mean? I, I'll say this. I, I will... I, I will concede that that is a fair argument that maybe they just see differently. And I'm not saying it's the thing. It's just that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, yeah. That's now, my now, takeaway but, from but, it. I feel like no one would have... You wouldn't even have to be able to make this argument. You just made a fucking red and just call it a day. <laughs> now, 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 here's, well, the, here's the trade-off. He has better vision. 
not as good lungs because he has to no. pull out a gas. Oh, the respirator. He needs a respirator. Although that might have been a joke about just the smog in LA. Could He's be. like, I'm not breathing this fucking smog. Uh, well, maybe. now that you mentioned he was in a fucking rainforest last time, yeah. so it was probably easier to breathe than it yes. is now, or he's not acclimated to it. Uh, yes. Uh, also, we're just kind of at the point in the movie where like the train doesn't stop fucking like speeding. Oh, up. it just keeps <laughs> going. Like, yeah, this, he, this fucking movie doesn't stop from the first scene. I'm okay with it. And and in the previous after movie, another. it would have been hit Harrigan on the roof mm -hmm. and the predator jumps out. Mm -hmm. But in this one, because the predator is a character, they actually show you the predator hiding and pulling up the spear. I'm like, yeah. I'm going to go fucking get him. Well, he's all you got to remember. He's also full of fucking bullets, too. Yes, oh, he's yeah. really pissed. Yeah, he's not having a good time. No, no, he's well, hurting like a motherfucker. I love how he throws the fucking spear at Harrigan <laughs> and he dodges it. Yeah, I love that the spear just keeps going yeah, whatever uh, it is. through the other fucking like air conditioning <laughs> unit. <laughs> but Danny Glover is a smart motherfucker, so he grabs it and just like charges at it like it's a pole vault or something. <laughs> My problem with that is just leave the spear. Unless yeah. you're going to shove it through him, just leave the spear. Okay. Because okay. he like tackles him with it. It's and like it, falls the, situation. it falls to the ground anyway. So they're hanging off the fucking ledge. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is about this scene, but it's just so good. Yes, I love that he's he's hanging on. He's like he, he he's hates, got his claws he hates heights. in Harrigan. He yeah. hates yeah. heights. He hates birds. He, he, oh, he, yeah, he yeah. Birds. Um, and he's got him by one be fucking birds. arm. Yeah. And the other hand is holding the, the smart disc that's lodged into the side of the building. Yeah. So he literally has to like let go and put his full weight on his and, one arm. And talk about subverting expectations. Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking that. Because you were thinking, you would think like the first Predator, went, and when I first watched this, I'm like, oh, he's going to set up the bomb. He's going to blow Harrigan's it Harrigan's going to like probably drop him and run away. Yeah. And it's like, no, he starts setting up the bomb. Harrigan kind of figures out what's going on. Yeah. He just slices the bomb in half. Well, he fucking rips this thing out of this concrete yeah. and just cuts his hand off. And Predator goes, oh! Well, I like the Predator goes, shit happened. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. That's his last yeah. like line. But I like the Predator's like, his like toes are sparking on the- Well, he grabs that like pipe and falls through the building. Yeah. And it's <laughs> he going, like ding, 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 ding. old people. He's got one fucking hand with the gauntlet trying to stop himself. <laughs> but they're, 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 it's like kind of a twofold scene there because A, you know, Danny Lars trying to save his life. Yeah. But B, he's also like looking around and seeing all these people in their apartments as though it's like he heard about this bomb from, uh, from, from Busey and he's like, if this goes off, all oh, these yeah. people are going to fucking die. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. Like it yeah. is, he doesn't say it, but that's kind yeah. of the way I read it. And then that all happens. And it's great because then he's got the arm and he just like fucking drops it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Someone grabbed that arm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Some bum, but I love, ate it. I love that. Like now Harrigan has to slowly get down there and get into the building. Meanwhile, it's the prisoner. It's just like falling off a lot. I guess yeah. whatever's in drywall, it will work. <laughs> For his so he like because we saw the predator and patch glass. Him. Yeah, we saw the pre the yeah the predator patch himself up in the previous movie, and this one's got way more work. Oh so yeah, he's like he's like like burning his arm. He's, he's got he's making this paste to patch. Oh himself. my god, I fucking love yeah. it, dude! I love how every time he does, like, ah, yeah. and the herb. Someone's in the bathroom. Oh yeah, the whole time this old lady's got like a broom. She's like, "What do I do?" Oh my god! Um, this yeah. fucking thing screaming. <laughs> and meanwhile, Danny Glover drops his gun because he's at it like at a weird angle going oh, down yeah. his pipe. Yeah. The predator opens his fucking thing and he, and he has the this McFarlane little McFarlane toy comes with. The oh med kit. oh yeah, the yeah. med kit. Yeah. But it's like this Bunsen burner that oh, opens yeah. up and he like drops the drywall. This blue shit he puts in it lights it on fire. Then the, the blue jelly fucking puts yeah. all over yeah. himself to like patch himself up and um. Yeah, I love that whole. I love it's just Jeopardy's so cool. playing in the background. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I love the line where he. I love when she's ready to beat him with the broom, <laughs> and he burst out, and he's just like, "Stop, please!" And he's like, "I'm a cop." And she goes, "I don't think he gives a yeah. shit." Oh, well, the predator <laughs> runs out, just blows through the door. Like, Dude, man, by the way, we're seeing, but it's the predator is no longer subtle. No, everyone's open in the hallway, going like, "You just see that fight?" <laughs> <laughs> it's L.A. They're like, "I don't give a fuck." Like, mm -hmm. He like punches through the door, but like the whole door frame oh, yeah. and and wall flies out when yes. he goes. I mean, through. you gotta remember these things are fucking like superhumanly strong. I don't think yeah. he gives a shit. Uh, um, just real quick, Kevin Peter Hall comes back. Yes, to yes, play yes. now I was gonna yes. talk about it when he got shot, yes. but we were excited. So Kevin Peter Hall comes back to play the Predator again, and he is just so fucking good. And R.I.P. because he's like he's one of the best suit actors to ever live. Mm. I mean, he was also like a really great dancer, and he apparently he was a super funny, super nice dude. So. He is in the behind the scenes for Predator. Him yeah. and Stan Winston are hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So uh, do you know how he died? Because I really bummed out my co-host in the Predator episode. <laughs> Oof. Oh I boy! I don't no remember. Well, 
Well, my Casey read pneumonia and I'm like, it's a little bit more than that. He was in a really bad car accident oh, geez. and had a blood transfusion Ugh. at the height of the AIDS epidemic. So he got AIDS from a blood transfusion oh. and then got pneumonia. And since he didn't have like the immune, so that's how he ended up dying. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't yeah. know how I didn't realize that. Yeah, because I guess she, I just never looked. She just read pneumonia. And it's like, yeah, but it wasn't like normal pneumonia. Yeah, uh, his, so, his 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 uh, his system couldn't fight it because yeah, of the AIDS. Yeah. yeah. But that's like, because I was like, how did that guy die? Because, you know, taller people, they have like issues and stuff. But I it was thought, just yeah, like, it I'm wasn't. Like, oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, it's a damn rough. shame. That's a rough one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because he could have done like more stuff. He could have been in way more things. But um, he's, he's my predator. Yeah, he's sure. great. He's <laughs> so. Uh, so Harrigan chases him out and we're going on a fucking elevator to hell going down. <laughs> yes, because it really jumps, does look like hell. I uh, love dude. the visuals of like the just the one light. I don't know that. why this guy can't stay on the ground. Mm-hmm. Oh, I it's, love that because Harrigan yeah. again is the, the fear heights. The comes heights. Into play. Stop good. the elevator. Yeah, stop. Oh, yeah. He's on the he fucking goes yeah. down and the elevator starts to go down and there's like this hole in the bottom where mm-hmm. like the light goes or something. Yeah. Falls through the hole onto the predator ship. Well, it, yes. it's a hole the predator so, made so itself. So this well, is still near the meat packing plant. So we assume the predators landed. It's a couple blocks away. Yeah, we assume the predator landed, and I uh, somehow got underground, unbeknownst to anyone, uh, just bored into the ground. Um, I'm assuming their ship has cloaking technology. It, it, 100% it cloaked does. definitely, but you would hear a fucking yeah. ship. I mean, it's burning. L.A. There's I, there's gunfights and explosions going off constantly throughout this film, so maybe not. We don't really see how or where it is specifically. It's clearly under a building. Yes. It has to be. Well, now I feel bad because Harrigan saved all those people. But if I think about it, that ship launching probably collapsed. Oh, my like, God. And then the fucking building fell on top of them. Oh, yeah, that no, old woman never be. got to see who won Jeopardy. Final <laughs> Jeopardy. <laughs> Herb, Herb, did you Her- hear Herb that? was sleeping during no, all of Herb this. Herb didn't. He, <laughs> he died fucking, in his sleep. Yeah, now he's got the, the sleep, the, the internal sleep. <laughs> yes, yes. So yeah, they get on the Predator ship and the Predator ship looks awesome. It looks so fucking cool. Why? 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 Uh, Wouldn't you fucking bring this style back for the future I, movies? I, I can't believe it. So the first Predator ship has been in comics and stuff, but sure. we never saw the interior no. of it. The predator ship in this looks awesome. It's got like the the humidity because they're you know they like heat and stuff. Yeah, and then you get the alien versus predator. It's like this sleek bullshit. It's a sleek silver shiny stuff. They try an alien versus predator two to make it look a little bit more like yeah, predator two. And we kind of we see the planet in that and stuff too. Yeah, but like the the ship, they try to touch it up, but it doesn't quite work. But when it gets to the predator, I'm like, all right, well. That the, pissed me off the most. Well, the Predator, because Predator 2 is canon in that mm-hmm. film. Jake Busey is Gary Busey's son. Oh, yeah, you film. told me that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm like, all right, so clear to the look. And then it just looks like it did. It looks like a fucking Man of Steel it ship. It looks like, why? It looks even cleaner the exterior, than the one from AVP. The exterior of the ship, I thought, looked fine. Yeah. But it's just like, why does the interior not look like the one from Predator 2? I don't know. That's It's so fucking moody. And, yeah. And it, it's got the fuck. It looks like a haunted house spaceship. Yeah, it's like yellow and uh, yeah, gross. and and it's got all like the tribal carvings all over the place. Yeah. and there's like pillar, like tribal pillars in the beginning. It has like this kind of like yeah. Mayan Aztec kind of like feel to the whole bit. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, well, to what you were saying about like the humidity look, it's almost like I could imagine like their ship because they thrive in heat is probably like a hundred degrees on purpose in there. Yeah. Oh, uh, big time. That's what I said. And like again, well, the, Tony made the joke about the lizard thing. Well, they are reptilian, so I feel like oh, yeah, are. maybe. But they look reptilian. They could, they, they bit, could yeah. be. They got their own heat rock, you think? Yeah. They, when they, yeah, they <laughs> lay on heat rocks, god damn it. Um, but yeah, I love you get to see the trophy. This is the whole thing that sparked this, yeah. right? Because yeah. you get this huge trophy case mm-hmm. and you have the xenomorph skull and you have all these different kinds of T Rex or something. Though. But I feel well, like I feel like you don't want to bet me because it didn't work well. I will time. never bet him again unless I'm a sure far. Well, let's see. What, what is it? Just don't bet money. I bet you there was already an Alien versus Predator thing, whether it was a game or the original comic. Okay. That predates this. I don't think so because, again, this comic is coming out in 1990. This movie's being made in 1989. And I believe the first Predator run is around 1990 or 1991 ish. <laughs> Should we settle it now? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh your beer. If I'm wrong, Sean, I left my phone upstairs. Can you look up the first alien? I already know the answer, so Tony, you owe him a beer. 
Wait, what? No. I looked this up earlier. Ah. What? It's because they it was Stan Winston worked on both. So they yeah. said, ah, fuck it, we'll throw it in there as an I Easter swear egg. there well, was a video game or a comic before. Yeah, no, that was the, this was the first thing we've mm. seen that they crossed over to the Predator universe, and everybody's like, holy shit, let's do that. Yeah, Dark and, Horse, you know. And it. for me, like, because I saw this movie later, I already knew yeah. about Alien vs. Predator, so I didn't know at that point they had already confirmed it in a movie. Oh, yeah. So well, then after that, I'm just like, why is there not an Alien vs. Predator movie? Well, right, well no, yeah, that yeah. this is the birth of yes. those comics. And like I told you, yes. at that, that Alien 3 one I gave you at the end, it was like a teaser for the Alien vs. Predator comic okay, book maybe series. maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll leave here. It's okay. I'm going to look into that video game. All right, though. mother. mother. Okay. We'll, we'll, you'll know when this video comes out. <laughs> if, if the trivia I read was wrong, I'll owe you a beer, Tony. How's that sound? <laughs> here we go. Can't believe Tony. He was right again. It was a tech. It was a freaking technicality. Predator and Alien, they've had each other in the comic, not in the movie. Okay. You want to win a beer, Tony? You want to win a goddamn beer? You're going to win one. You're going to win one, all right? <laughs> oh, hey, Sean. Is that my beer you owe me from winning that bet? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. I really love it. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. That's what you get, Tony! So we get the final battle. Yes. It's awesome. Mono we mono. Whoa. Holy ah! shit. <laughs> Was oh that the God. predator? Whoa! <laughs> uh uh Mono e, e uh predator. Uh yes. so uh so this thing's got one fucking arm and it's coming after Danny Glover with its with, with its wrist blade. With because Danny blade. Glover has the soul, the the the, the, well, the, the smart disc. Yeah, the okay. disc. I kept calling it a glave. I yeah. Mean, so he can't I, use I, any other weapon later because it, it has to be fair. So if it's hand to hand, you can have edge weapons yes. according to Predators. Yes. Well, yeah, because he's got yeah, the gauntlet. Yeah. Um I would love to see him in a fucking fist fight. <laughs> uh, punch he, your fucking head off. Talk about part eight. No, he, he would literally <laughs> punch a fucking hole through your yeah, face. Yeah. But uh but they're fighting, and then uh, it bests Danny Glover, and then it you know he like feigns being like hurt, and he fucking shoves this thing right up to his yeah. chest, and you know he gets the whole yeah that's right motherfucker shit happens yeah and he's uh, just like so dig the alternate version of this in the novel I guess we could just talk about it a little bit yeah sure um so he doesn't kill the predator predator's not dead you know well, how they they carry off the body. They carry off the body, but even before they carry off the body, his like lip is still twitching. Uh, okay. No. In the in the novel, he's beaten. Mm -hmm. Danny Glover backs off, and the elder comes out and beheads the predator. That like that's sense. like an honorable death. Oh, for him. yeah, that makes like sense. finishes it off, yeah. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was kind of neat. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you needed it in the movie, but I think it's I think no, it's I, cool. either way it works. I think it's cool. Uh, let's give it to Danny Glover. I mean, come on. He, he's the hero of the movie. Well, no, a big, no. No, a big time. 100 percent. And no. uh, so this is where we get the lost tribe of predators, which is really cool. OK, you're going to have to. Wait, why are they called the lost tribe? That's just what they named them. Oh, OK. I, I think I, it's kind of neat. I, you're going to have to lay some of this uh, and stuff on the lore well, on me. Well, it's also it also adds the the question that. There are different functioning clans of these things, mm -hmm. right? So they're not, they don't all operate on the same wavelength exactly. And maybe they, maybe. Which gets explored in later movies. Well, there you go. Yeah. So maybe the, maybe the predator from the first clan that we saw wasn't even in a clan. Maybe he yeah. just did his own thing, but. Well, he, he, he gets dropped off. Well, there you go. Yeah, he gets dropped off. So his clan, how I interpret it is that this hunter is a young one. Yeah, no, I agree. And this is his first thing on earth. So they're not interfering. They're just kind of like there to make sure, you know, he's never done this so before. that it goes well and they yeah. can clean yeah. up if they have to. You know what I mean? So I if he that. fails to blow himself up, they're like, all right, we got to get all the evidence. All right. We got to nuke Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. From orbit, of course. Yeah. So they've they've been just hanging out. Yeah. Checking out. And it's clear. It's clear that the elder has been to Earth before. Yes. Too. So. So mm -hmm. let me just name these out real quick. So there's eight of them. Mm. And not including the city hunters. So there's the elder, which is also he's also called Greyback okay. or the Golden Angel. By the way, the elder mm -hmm. is just the first predator suit, but they aged it up and it's, gave it gray. It's ah, fucking cool. Dude. Yeah, it's, it's the cool. first predator suit. They just made it a little bit older. Yeah. It's fucking cool. Yeah. Um, and he's got like he is just like decked out uh, with all kinds of trophies and bones and mm. uh, this fucking awesome sword that he has. Yeah. And then there's the boar predator, the Borg predator. Yeah. The guardian predator. The Scout Predator, the Shaman Predator, which kind of looks like the Elder Predator, mm. but not really. Uh, the Snake Predator, the Stalker Predator, and the Warrior Predator. Okay. 
Uh, so that is the Lost Tribe. I, I will say this this reveal is cool, but the blue screen is a little rough in this one. Again, film composited effects. Yeah, with don't. the fog, I was just like, Oof. I think it's pretty well wrote. It, it's, it's real quick, so it's yeah, fine. But that fog looks pretty it, good. It, it, it's a case of like every time you get an up graded version from like dvd to blu-ray yeah. you notice it more and more it's like <laughs> man on vhs and cable i didn't notice it but now i'm just staring at i it. mean but it's also a case where it's like there's like six fucking predator costumes on screen at once it's yeah like, god damn it's yeah. pretty it's pretty impressive and yeah. it's, it's something that we've and they never were... seen before which was like must have been shocking as fuck to see for the yeah. first time and i think they were played by like what did they say the, the lakers La the lakers. lakers i don't yeah. know if it was like maybe it was like people who were on the lakers i don't know if they were big names i but... love the blooper reel where they're all fucking yeah, dancing, dancing. Yeah, 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 yeah. there's a whole yeah. like video of like danny glover dancing yeah. with them. in the ship in costume because like where else are you gonna get like five like six foot tall guys like oh the lakers the lakers like, yeah. yeah 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 uh tom would be an amazing predator tom would be an amazing he, he is... could not fit into the suit tom tom is my first choice for <laughs> the field of screams project that yeah. we're going to do well he's played oh. a slasher before uh, oh there no, you go we, we were uh we were gonna when we did the pictures i'm like i have to be in the suit and casey was like what about tom i'm like casey this suit is tight on me <laughs> you think tom is gonna like like we i would have to rip the shit out of this to you're, get it on top i'm gonna repeat of your dune episode yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't meet i didn't meet kevin peter hall clearly but i yeah. met uh derek mears yes who played the 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 classic predator and predators yeah i didn't like that it was a one-for-one -one copy of the uh, classic predator yeah but i'm I, fine if it was the same species and had the same face but i sure. would dress it different but it's like literally the predator for predator one I'm pretty like, much well that's why i say like that specific clan yeah, yeah. anyway so they carry the fucking body off like you guys talk oh, about and the leader hands danny glover as like a trophy well his fucking flint well, first he threatens threatens them. yeah he's oh like, yeah next? he drops the fucking uh smart disc and he's like okay who's next uh, <laughs> okay you're right that is a great line they take the body out and uh uh, the elder predator is like playing with his fucking little skull thing and he turns around to leave and then he stops and he turns back and he takes out the uh the uh um, flintlock yeah. yeah the flintlock because i guess the the, the musket the, the yeah. idea is he can't really give him a trophy from them because he doesn't want them having that technology no, so he's like i yeah, have this yeah so he taught take it so he can actually I feel like the other predators are just mimicking and they can kind of get this predator seems like he knows how to talk. Yes and no. And but he's also visited Earth a bunch. Yes. You know, as mm -hmm. clearly. So I love Danny Glover reads the side like 1705. Yeah, well, that's the thing. So this is Raphael Adelini's pistol from 1715. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was weird because in the comic, it's uh, the difference is Vito de la Mirandel Deo. OK. Uh, and it says uh, Año de Mini, which means in the year of our Lord, and it mm. says 16, uh, 1640. Okay. So they changed it for the for the comic hmm. for some reason. And I looked up that name, and I couldn't find anything that was tied to it. Do you think they changed the name for the comic because they thought, like, oh, maybe we want to do a movie. We don't want to get tied to this comic. Well, maybe the, a different movie or something. I mean, why would why would it be a problem to keep it Raphael Adelini? If they wanted to do the movie, because they oh, were worried like, about... Because remember, they... They fucking changed Newton Hicks's name in oh, the reprints right. of the Alien yeah, comics. Yeah, uh, maybe. With the cat. So maybe. they're probably like, "Look, we we might want to do a prequel. Let's not use that character, but tell oh, the story I see you were going to tell." I see yeah. what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah. Um. And and I just I just love that so much. And then he fucking keeps it, and it totally like comes together for Danny Glover at yeah. that moment. And he's like seventeen, fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. If you're watching Fuck. Lethal Weapon in his office, it's like hanging above his desk. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> No. Fuck yourself. No. Maybe, oh, yeah, that came up before. Hey, the MDU, Joe. What are you talking about? Maybe, maybe, maybe Lethal Weapon 4. I don't know. That was made after. <laughs> wow. Uh, Fuck I, yourself. I, I, Burn yeah. Joe's brain with my MDU bullshit. I know, bullshit. because I, I'm thinking about something else, and and, and, no, it, and I just it didn't connect. The so wires the Predators got fucked up. spare him, but they don't really give him a lot of time to no. get the fuck out okay. of the blast zone. Also, another one. Danny Glover's dead. Right? Hey. He like runs off the ship and jumps and this thing fucking launches out of the ground and into the sky. Now, I don't know uh, the propulsion system of a Predator spaceship, but I'm pretty sure that fucking blast is going to nuke you. I mean, he's right? covered in the same, well, like, he say, same thing about Arnold, but they both. No, I said that in the beginning. He should be dead for yeah, all intents and purposes. So, so he, he climbs out. This is giant fucking hole that yeah, this thing has ripped in the landscape. He comes walking out in the fucking trail of this. And Adam Baldwin's like, ah, you jerk. <laughs> Mess oh, it up. We were so close. <laughs> it's just like, dude, give me a fucking break. Don't worry, asshole. You'll get, You'll get another chance. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> fucking puts it the fucking revol or the, the musket on his shoulder and just walks off. <laughs> Such a good ending. It really is. It really is. I'm 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 sad it didn't do super well and it wasn't like really beloved. Uh because it would have been cool to see like 
not like the continuation continuation yeah. of Mike Harrigan, but to see like predators in other environments. Although the idea that Rodriguez had in the nineties was kind of lame. It was just like the predator. It, it actually kind of became the predators idea. Yeah. But it was like the predators got Arnold and Mike Harrigan and brought them back to their planet to like fight. Nah, nah, Cause they nah. were worthy. I guess. Cause the were, which is what happens in predators. It, it gets so like that works for a comic book, but it mm. gets so fucking dicey and corny when it comes mm. to a movie. Like, yeah, like I, said, I don't I'm, know. That's too much cheese for me. I'm fine with an, like an anthology of just like now these people are fighting predators yeah. now, which they're finally doing. But it's such a great idea because there's a planet of predators that come yeah. that, that come here, well, and that, you can and you can play with that idea that Rod, R- Rodriguez does with the different clans and like uh, the lost predators, or not the lost predators, but like the, the uh, super predators, super predators, one, or yeah. whatever the fuck they were called, or the genetically enhanced. No, I don't need any predator. of that shit. I mean, I still think, you know, I said this a little earlier, but like if you're into another, uh, you know, environment, let's say that's hot, like yeah. a desert, maybe somewhere in the Middle East, let's yeah. play up the, the military they, oh, thing. That's and kind of they've done comics with like him in the Wild West. They've yes. Done, there, there was, I saw mm. there was a Civil War one. I'm like, huh, I kind of want to read that the Civil one. War one. Well, oh, that's what I forgot to mention in the beginning. One of these, uh, one of the ideas for Predator 2 was going to be in during World War II in the snow. That'd be like another cool place. Which would have kind of been cool. No, but well, I, well, I've seen Predators in Snow, and yeah. I'd rather never well, see that again. What a shitty I fucking agree. take. I hate that fucking movie. But, like, I, the idea is kind of cool. Well, no pun intended. On paper, but, like, the whole thing in the first two movies is they attack things, like, in in hot areas. Yeah. Unless you do something where it crashes in well, the cold. No, I, well, all right. I yeah. agree, and I, I don't think it works for that, but it would be cool to see it in another uh, setting. Like, Gettysburg would kind of be neat. I think they've probably done that. Oh, like, during the what Civil about War. A, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, duh, the Civil War. What about yeah. a uh, sporting goods store in Colorado? Because we got that in Alien's Predator Requiem. What about a, a, a high school swimming pool? Would you like to see a predator Look, in a high school swimming pool? That movie was a good step in the right direction for the actual creatures. Terrible step for the fucking human characters. My goodness. The creatures? You could see the creatures in that movie? <laughs> I gotta rewatch it. Again. I haven't seen it in a minute, but I remember really liking all that those parts of it. Uh, how did you see it? They're it's so not dark. That dark. It's, it's very dark. dark. It's dark, but it's, it's not that very dark. dark. All right, let's do some color correction. It, it, well, then you would just it, no. I've tried it. it you, no, you it, need, once it's need, crushed, it ain't coming yeah, back, baby. Yeah. yeah, you need like the original negatives yeah. and whatnot. <laughs> I'm surprised they need. I mean, I don't think they give a shit to go back and revamp it. But I was gonna say they could go and give it like a, a color pass or like a uh, you know. Yeah, they gave it a director's cut, but like you could have just colored this to make it look not like yeah, shit. Well, yeah, the director's cut was mostly just to leave all the fucking gore shit in. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. So, uh, so where are we putting this, guys? Oh, this is on the shelf. What big time. About? Oh, big yes. time. This is probably one of my Ga- favorite franchises. It is still the best Predator sequel. Oh, big time. Easy. Yes. Because yeah. Predator, as much as I like Predators and some of the stuff it introduces, it takes too many story beats from part one yeah. instead of just kind of do its own thing. There's too many winkies, and I don't like that. Yeah. You don't has, need it. It's like a soft reboot. It's, it, it, I, I remember before soft reboot was a term, I called it. And I, I'll mention this in Clayton's video. I call yeah. it like the Superman Returns f- effect. Okay. We're like, this is a sequel to a new chapter. It's like, yeah, but you're kind of doing the same thing I already saw on the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And The Predator is just a shit show. One thing I like about that. Drop the fucking ball on that one, Shane. There's a few like interesting things they do on that one. And one I like, I like how the Predator's version of uh, Lightspeed, because they're such an aggressive species, it's literally to just shoot holes in space. <laughs> like, it's not like light speed or opening a wormhole. They literally <laughs> fire lasers into the fabric of space. And I'm like, ah, that's how I feel like a predator would travel, actually. Probably. That's actually pretty. That's how aggressive and angry they are. Like, oh, how would we get one to be? I'm like, oh, we're just going to shoot. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, you know, that movie. Yeah. There's some kind of cool ideas and I like a, a few things from it. But like, I just why do they want the skulls? For our spinal juice. I don't need that shit. No, I yeah, don't they, they fucking overthought need it. it. They it, overthought it, it's, it. it. They shit the bed on that one. And it cut Edward James almost out. They cut the, oh, come on. They cut him out. They cut him out. They cut out the emissary predators. Yeah, they, they made cut toys it. of them, but they cut him out. Yeah, <laughs> with, the, with the fucking camo pants. What was that going to be like? Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Riding a tank or some shit. That looks more interesting than what we got, which is just like we're doing Predator again, but he's big and it's at night. It's like, uh, well, cool. I know all that footage is around. Where's that cut? Yes, I think Fox is too embarrassed. <laughs> They're like, yeah. Fo- yeah, Fox is too embarrassed. Fox is this one's a little too embarrassed. They'll do it like ten years from now. No, it's make, Disney. Lots of let's make fuck. Oh yeah, that's why we had to make no, Iron, Iron do- Man Predator. Disney would do it because it doesn't make them look bad. 
Disney, right. won't, Disney won't do a director's cut of any of their Star Wars well, now, movies because that'll it's, make them look bad. Now well. it's Fox Studios or whatever. Yeah, uh, 20th Century Studios. St- oh, excuse me, oh, yes. Yeah, they got obviously. rid of the Fox name. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is obviously on the shelf. Mm. Uh, I don't know why I waited so long to watch this. Oh, wait, I know because we were talking about covering it for like three years. <laughs> I bought I'm, the Blu-ray I'm, a year or two ago, and I just like I think I posted a picture of it online. Like I'm watching Predator two tonight, and then I told Joe after yeah, I never actually watched. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you motherfucker, uh, uh, it's so good. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it, this is a really good movie. And I, I originally thought about like I'm big on like giving stuff stars, just like on a personal thing. Like I always do the five star scale, and I, at first I was like that's a solid four, and then like I sat and I thought about it all night, and this morning I was like. I think it's also a five, like the first one, but for different reasons. Like, yeah, there's some nitpicky shit that I can really sit here and talk about, which I did. The two little things mm, like, yeah, like that I mentioned earlier, but just like it's a different environment. It's a it's a sequel that doesn't, you know, maybe some beats are a little similar because it is still a Predator film. Mm-hmm. But it's just like it's done so differently at the same time. And all the acting's really good. The effects are awesome. The fights are really engaging. Uh, and the tension's kind of there throughout. Um, mm. If I hadn't seen this before, I mean, I, you kind of would assume Danny Glover's going to make it to the end. Mm. But it's not a guaranteed thing because of so many times where you think he's about to eat it. Oh, big yeah. time. I do love how they subvert expectations in this with the bomb going off. And there's some a couple other scenes mm. like that throughout. Uh, and it's just, I don't know. I, I don't know how many different ways I could say it's really good. And if you haven't seen this like me, uh, definitely check it out. I'm kind of good on the rest of the Predator movies. Again, like Predators, I guess there were dogs in it. I don't remember that. <laughs> you don't bother. Uh, and the Predator, it just it, the trailer looked fucking horrible. And then based on yeah. everything you guys just said, it sounds horrible. And AVP can go suck my fucking left nut. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that to- movie just, that could have been amazing if you played any of the games for the PC back in the day. Read any was, of the fucking comics. Well, that too. Or even the novels. I had a Or just, in- you know, grab two toys and play. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Better movie. You would have came up with something yeah. better. <laughs> Because I know there's novels, too. I've never read any of them. I had a friend in uh, middle school that read them. Mm. Uh, But yeah, uh, check this one out if you missed it. And if you haven't watched it in a while, pop it in. Uh, Shelf. Uh, Duh. Um, So yeah, this has a very special place uh, in my heart. It was my first Predator movie. Now, I I, want to just talk about that real quick because you mentioned uh, a lot of people like Part 8. And I think that was their first Friday movie. So that's why they have like this connection to it. So that's why it's the best. Uh, Um. I think this is objectively better uh, only because I, I really like the first one and what it does, but everything here is just dialed up mm-hmm. to 11. And I really love living in this world. Uh, it's like this kind of future noir, uh, dirty kind of future. It's got this gross, like yellow brown tinge all over everything mm-hmm. that I really like. I, I love the uh, all, like the all the different gang, gang shit, the, the Colombians and the Scorpio and, the, and King Willie is great. And and all of that kind of culture kind of mixing and intermingling and, and, and spilling out onto the streets in this kind of crazy fucking like gang war turf war kind of thing with a predator thrown in the middle of it. Yeah. And it's like, not only is it a good story by itself, but when you throw the predator in, you're like, you think it's going to be a periphery character, but like it is pretty integral to the plot. Mm. Uh, especially because it's killing the gang members and shit like that. I love that we see more of the weapons. I, the fucking effects are cranked up on this one. The Predator looks even better than mm-hmm. before. Kevin Peter Hall's fucking bringing it. Uh, Danny Glover's great. Busey's great. Uh, I, excuse me, what's his name? Uh, uh, Adam Baldwin. Fuck Adam Ruben Baldwin. Ruben Blades. Ruben Blades is awesome. And uh, Maria Conchita is... Our, uh, I forget Maria her last. Maria Conchita Alonso. Maria yes. Conchita Alonso is great too. They're Al- all great. Alva from Vampire's Kiss. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Bill Paxson, of course, is great. It, it's just a real treasure. You got Joel Silver Morton on Downey here. Morton Downey Jr. Morton Downey Jr., of course. Yeah. All of those elements make this like so spectacular. Mm-hmm. And again, coming back to Joel Silver, it feels like a comic book. It does. Yeah. Like it feels like maybe not a kind of like a little bit of EC because he obviously he did tell some criminal stuff, but like it feels like I'm watching a Dark Horse comic before the Dark Horse comics like kind of came to yeah. fruition. And this kind of set the stage for a lot of things going forward, especially for this universe, uh, you know, with the alien being at the end and like the kind of like the over the top cursing and the gore and all this yes. kind of fun shit. Um I don't think it needed Shane Black at all no. to do what it needed to do. So I mean, we, Shane Black was just there to punch stuff up. He didn't really write. No, I know Predator. it was it was them. That's my point. Yeah. So for him to come back and do the Predator, it's kind of like, wait, why didn't you get Jim and John to come back yeah, and write it? Was, and Fred Decker, like Fred Decker's it? fine, but like, but I, he wrote it. 
Not all of it, right? I thought Shane wrote it too. I mean, I don't know. It don't says know. written by Fred Decker, directed by Shane Black. Why the fuck you wouldn't bring Jim and John back? I have no idea. No. But um, but like this is just a, such a fucking good time, especially now. It's summertime. It's fucking heating up. You got fucking Predator and Predator Two. Fire up the grill. Fucking throw those ribs on. You make a nice. And then what I do, mm-hmm. I make two different kinds of ribs. I make a jungle hunter ribs, and I make my city hunter ribs. I was going to say, there's the predator out there with you cooking up those meat cubes yeah. from the net that it made earlier. Maybe, but you know goddamn well, I'm going to be I'm going to be hanging out with Chris Barr. We're going to fucking throw up the projector screen. We're going to barbecue. We're going to watch these back to back. It's always a good time. In my predator suit. He's going to Tony will be signing He'll autographs. Be like, Tony, the predator. Please, please take that off. And I'll be like, no, Tony, <laughs> get out of that tree. <laughs> You're going to be covered in just sweat. Just a puddle. It's my mom's dogwood. Tony, get out of that tree. Is Tony really sad? He hasn't gotten up. It's like, oh, I think he had died of heat of <laughs> like three hours ago. And it's just the predator suit. It's like, <sighs> I just throw him on the grill. <laughs> it's been with me a long time and, and it still holds up like fucking gangbusters, man. Mm-hmm. So good. And I hope we get, I hope the new predator, I'm going to segue into that. I hope the new the predator prey is is good because it seems to be going that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we have we have the uh, the the uh, Native American tribes kind of now mixing with the Predator, which is cool. Mm-hmm. It, it's supposed to take place in 1722-ish, so we're already fully colonized at yeah. that point in yeah. America, so there's going to be musket play and all that kind of yeah. shit. I kind of yeah. hope we don't get that, to be perfectly what? honest. Just musket focus play. on the natives. My, I kind of just want to focus on the natives. I mean, I understand the want for that, but I the only way I'm going to be like not complain about that just skipping ahead to August when it comes out uh, is if they just immediately get 86 because you're shooting a fucking musket at a predator. If you don't hit this thing, you're dead. Yeah, well, if you don't shoot, it's the same thing. Bow and arrow, boom, boom, no, you can, boom. You can have an Hatch act, it, boom. You can have an action scene in the beginning, much yeah. like the first predator yeah, yeah, yeah. the humans fighting. I'm into that, yeah. I'm into that, but no, no, I just, no. I want the focus on the natives. That's no, all no, I'm no. saying. I'm sorry, you misconstrued what I'm saying. I want the focus to be on the natives, but I hope there are some type of Spaniards or French or something okay. that interact yeah. with this. I mean, there's gotta be, yeah. right? Because there's probably gonna be some conflict with, with the Native Americans and the actual other colonizers trying to do something well, that with is them. True. Either That's take their point. land or move in on something. Yeah. And the predator is gonna be caught. Uh, he comes when it's fucking hot and there's conflict. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. Okay? okay, I'll give you that. So, but I am very excited for again to to reintegrate that kind of hunter trophy mm. uh, tribal system into the films because we haven't really. I mean, you get a little bit of it in AVP, but it's kind of mm. shitty. And and predators and the predator just fucking throw it to the wayside. Uh, well, the predators is like I like that guy. Bring him to our hunting world, I, which I thought was cool, but but like, I would have preferred just like. How do samurais deal with predators? Right. Like right. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, like an Edo era fucking. No. I mean, I did movie? like the idea of them grabbing like like the all these killers and bringing them to like a murder world. Uh, well, <laughs> but I would wolf and cub versus predator. <laughs> but that's something I. It's kind of cool. Like like if predators was like predator seven, I would have liked that. I would have liked uh, like a, yes. more of an anthology before that. M- more no, it needs yeah. more. It needs more contained stories like this, yeah. which are which are which which I think this new prey movie is going to do, and I really hope it's good. Mm. Um, Same. Um, and I really think Dan Trachtenberg's going to do a good job. I really like 10 Cl- Cloverfield Lane. It's a very tense, mm. dr- dramatic forward movie. I don't know if that's what you need for a Predator movie. Um, if it, I don't think it's going to feel like Predator 2, but that's okay with me. I just want it to deliver in terms of uh, again, bringing Predator back to the roots of the character. Yeah. You know what I mean? All it needs is uh, conflict to draw the predator out, yeah. establish our badass warriors, show how badass they are. Big time. So there's a contrast to when the predator takes them out, and then come up with a cool way for them to interact and uh, outsmart each other. Yeah, yeah. and then That's have that, and then the final battle. Yeah. So here's my theory. I'm calling it now because I want to put it on fucking video. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Raphael Adelini is going to be in Prey. Okay. And I... I, oh, okay, I'll give from, you that. From that 1715. Now, I'm, I I was talking to Chris Barr the other day about this, and we were, like, freaking out. I was like, what if Raphael is in this fucking movie, and the Predator in Prey is the elder Predator in this movie, in Predator 2? Does that mean, the? I guess, the Predator is going to win? Yeah, see, that would be the only what? thing that, well, that would burn my ass a little, but I guess I will see. I mean, <laughs> no, not that it's going to win, but it makes it out alive? I guess. I mean... <laughs> 
It could I also mean, be it could also be part of the tribe or the hunting party that's on Earth at the time. That's true. I just don't know if a movie studio is gonna finally have a woman led uh, film and have and, them die. And you, you <laughs> hang, oh, no, I don't, I don't an think indigenous that. person on top yeah, of that. I don't think I, they're I don't gonna think, die. I think that goes against Hollywood's uh, yeah. current. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't think they're gonna die. I, I like I that mean, theory though. Shock! It would be oh god. Yeah, talk about shock, Jesus! Oh, <laughs> over there. Over there. <laughs> But I like we I, I like that theory. I yeah. think I think it'd be cool to have it. And just one quick side note: there was a Predator comic called Seventeen Eighteen mm -hmm. that found we found out who Raphael Adelini was, and he was a pirate. Oh, and uh, he gets double crossed by his his uh, uh, crew because mm -hmm. he wants to give gold back to the church or something like that. So they go and they double cross him, and the Predator shows up, and him and the Predator fight all these guys <laughs> that are. Oh, I've, I've seen that. that yeah, image, and yeah. then he gets shot, and the Predator like leaves his. Uh, um, sword on him and then takes his gun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's cool it's kind of neat yeah, yeah so cool. I, I if there's some kind of tie like that i don't know they, that gets me even like more excited that yeah. little, those little fucking breadcrumbs yeah. if they're there you know what i mean sure. it would be and cool then, to see a then, nod i guess is what i'm saying and yeah. then look you know we gotta fix alien it'll never be fixed it's ruined uh much like star wars alien can be fixed but it won't be uh but i would like just I would like another crack at Alien vs. Predator. Oh, big just, time. But Please, it's got to be the fucking comics, people. Just, it's got to be like in the future with the Marines yes. and the on a world where there's a bunch of different aliens that the, the alien can face hug. So we get a variety of aliens. Oh, OK, you want to go like that? Because that's the, pro the first Alien vs. Predator comic. They didn't establish the whole hybrid sort of thing. Yeah. So it's like it's face hugging like rhinos and snakes, but <laughs> yes. they're coming they're out coming as regular out of, yeah. aliens. Why don't they just hear me out on this because the thought just popped in my head maybe it's a bad idea mm. they can go to earth aliens crash land into a fucking zoo there you go done there's no. all the animals oh, well here, here's the thing i never want to see an alien on earth ever again mm. okay unless that's it's fine like, unless, it's like a, unless it's like a future earth okay, okay. unless a uh, future earth in throes of conflict because that's why mm. the predators show up yeah and they just happen to, maybe maybe whaling finally gains their their bio weaponry like the game yeah. You know what I mean? And they and mm. they finally make this creature and it goes awry, fucking breaks out. Mm. But there's still like factions of I mean, I'm writing a better fucking movie than you, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> just talking. Oh. And I didn't even probably do that. It's probably a comic that I read. Yeah, fair. <laughs> it's just so weird. They gave him like just a mid budget for what ended up being the most successful alien or predator oh. movie ever made. <laughs> they knew they were gonna get a return on investment. Yeah, they but it's, all, a little it's bit also more. PG 13 for the kids, oh. they, which helped make it more money. Yeah, uh, by the way, this is the hardest R that I've ever seen. We get bush and boobs, and yeah. they're saying fuck every five seconds, and there is some really intense gore in it. Yes, the gore is pretty uh, fucking intense yeah. in this one. Little Joey was very excited when Predator <laughs> 2 was on TV. Joe was pausing that scene a lot. <laughs> Maybe. Well, now we know she has a whole filmography. Well, well, you had it on tape. I had to watch it on TV. I couldn't pause it. You know, it's funny. I taped it off cable. No, did you? <laughs> so and what do they even do in that and scene? At, and at one point. No, no. Uh, premium cable. Oh, okay. So it's unedited. The black but, box. Yeah. Yeah. But I. um. But uh, it was like digital when digital cable was new. Yeah. And I remember midway through the movie, I was uh, I pulled up the menu to check and see what was coming on. So I taped me going through the menu to see what was coming up next. <laughs> That's kind of great. <laughs> so when I would watch my Predator 2 tape, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I guess I did watch that afterwards. <laughs> the yeah. fucking, it, it like permanently rewinds and fast forwards to that part and pauses. <laughs> Why is my tape? My tape's broken. Uh. So, yeah, don't forget, jump back and check out that Predator review over on Hack the Movies. And then yeah. after you're done watching this. Go check out Clayton Fioriti and Tony from Hack the Movies episode of Predators. On Dragon Curve. On, on the Dragon, Dragon Curve, Curve yes. channel. Yes. yes. And, yes. And, and since we're promoting Clayton, check out that Theodore Rex review from last month. And if you want to go way, way back, I have a commentary track for Predator on my Patreon, but I also review The Predator with James and Justin on Cinemasker, and it's when we just finished watching the movie and I enjoyed it. So if you want to see me <laughs> be a fucking idiot... Before I like really let the movie sink in, uh, you can go check that out. So there you go. And <laughs> hop back and watch those Alien 3 reviews. There's three of them. Three yes. times the terror, three times the Tony. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think to make that joke. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, we also have a commentary track coming out with Tony. Uh, it's already for, out. It's already. It should be out. It's out. Uh, Alien Private Eye from oh, Vinegar man, Syndrome. I had so much fun. <laughs> Me too. With Alien Private Eye. You better go pick up that uh, Blu-ray from Vinegar Syndrome and tell them that we sent you, even though they're not paying us or anything, but we want to get on one of those discs. So help us out. 
Uh, we we also have, I'm assuming this is going to be on the schedule, a Stepfather 2 episode coming. It's, hey, Joe, it's it's Stepfather's Day. Oh, happy Stepfather's Day to you. Uh, I'm I've never seen the second Oh, it's a, I'm dude, it's so out. fucking good, the second um, one. Terry O'Quinn, the MDU lore is coming fast. I mean, it came pretty hard on this episode, but that shit, the Winter Stepfather Project, if you don't know what we're talking about, go back <laughs> before that episode. Listen to that that, that Stepfather episode. So, man, the, the, the discipliner's in there. Crookshank's so, coming out of retirement. So this, so this episode came pretty hard, and you think Stepfather's going to come pretty hard, too. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, I came pretty hard there, when we when we did last oh, Father, so I think my pants Jesus. are going to be filled you know, with there, there are websites that I frequent where that's the topic of many of the videos they put out. But anyway, oh, oh, yeah, it comes no, so hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cummed. <laughs> and, 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 and Specifically yeah. stepfathers. But anyway. Yeah. Oh, God, <laughs> we've got more stuff coming out. It's, uh, you know, it's posted somewhere. Uh yep. Yeah. We also, uh, <laughs> on, on that lovely note, we have a live show oh, uh, at the Colonial Theater coming up. Our actual live in-person show, and Tony will be there. It will be Magic Mayhem and Little Rubber Monsters on Saturday, July 16th at the Colonial Theater in Phoenixville, PA. Do not miss it. We're showing Ghoulies and The Gate back to back in 35 millimeter film. We are going to have a fucking blast. There's going to be vendors. There's going to be special drinks, uh, giveaways, huge giveaways. You know how we do our giveaways. They're always good. These are going to be great. Um, so yeah, come down, hang out, uh, watch some bad movies with us or good, bad movies rather. Um, and, uh, just side note, this isn't going to be a normal show like this. We're not going to be talking over the movie. We're going to do bits in between and then we're going to enjoy the movies together and we're going to have some inner interaction on stage and stuff. It's going to be a really good time. Uh, get your tickets now at colonial and it's theater R E not T E R. Yeah. Get it right. Or pay the price. Actually, just click the fucking link in the show notes on YouTube. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast app, it's in the show notes on your podcast app. Yes. There you go. And speaking of podcast apps, leave us a five star review if you dig the show so we can get out of the bottom of the dumpster and need more eardrums. Please, it would be a huge help to do that. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, give us a like, subscribe, share the video, tell people about us, tell everybody. Get some more dumpster dwellers in yeah. here, you know? Tell your friends, tell your enemies. Yeah. Hate, watch the fuck out of it if you, you know? That's a good one. And if you want to support us financially, you can always head over to patreon.com slash movie dumpster where you'll find that commentary track we were just talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, and many other ones. We've done several other crossovers yes, with Tony. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. Oof. Okay. Can't wait to never watch sure. those again. Uh, Annabelle <laughs> was one we did with uh, Tony. Right. <laughs> but you should watch them again with the commentary tracks that we did. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, last month. Uh, we also, yeah, we did Critters 2 recently uh, for Easter. You also get, get those watch alongs, man. Those live yes. watch alongs. You get the replays. You can go back in the archive. Check out ones you missed. Uh, we just did Rumple Stillskin. Go check that out. Uncle Rumple's on his way. Oh, he's on his way for sure. But uh, don't forget, two, five, or ten dollar tiers. That five dollar tier gets you a sticker pack and access to commentary tracks and the live watch alongs that you can come hang out with us while we watch it. When we will talk over it though, but yeah. it'll be fun. And uh, ten dollars nets you uh, a t-shirt, sticker pack, pin, all that, all that groovy stuff. Yeah. And two dollar tier, you also get access to mini sods and uh, junk mail or mailbag series. Oh yeah, big time. And Tony, where can everybody find you? No, crying in an alley. King Willie's alley? King Willie's alley. Yeah. Oh. No, you can find me at hackthemovies.com, hack the movies on YouTube, hack the movies on Odyssey, hack the movies uh, on Patreon. Mm. Just type in hack the movies. Avoid Reddit. You're yes. not going to find me there. Uh, but you will find, if you type hack the movies into Google, you will find me somewhere. And uh, I guess, um, let me see here. That that was my plug. This is an anti-plug. Uh don't don't go to any fansly sites with the name stuff like hearts. <laughs> install like an auto block that blocks you from websites and put that in there. Do not go to that website. Do not contribute to it. You, but uh, you know you're giving material to people online that absolutely hate us. <laughs> hate you specifically i don't know how many people actually hate us but i don't know they don't care enough to hate us i just really want to hurt johanna financially anyway that's it from us so that's it that's predator 2 from 1990 directed by stephen hopkins i'm joe lascola i'm sean rourke and i'm tony from active movies thanks for visiting the dumpster 